Good evening, everyone. If I can request that everyone take a seat, we're going to start in a few minutes. I'm committed to starting on time so we can get out on time. Thank you. You can still talk. <laughs> I kind of shut the room down, didn't I? <laughs> Not my intention. Good evening, everyone. I welcome our elected leaders and our staff. Our staff, not, you know, evenings, right? Not your first rodeo. So we're going to start off um, by uh, opening remarks first from our mayor, if my remote will work. Son of a gun. And then after that, our, our new city manager, Tracy. The, the uh, November 14th Des Moines City Council study session is now called to order. Councilmember Nutting will now lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand if you're able. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. So let the record show that all council members are present. And uh, to all of the public attending tonight and uh, viewing online, welcome and thank you for, thank you for attending. Uh, if you are watching online or on channel 21, please know that we cannot attend to our phones during the meeting. So if you experience technical problems, please email cityclerk at demoinwa.gov. That's cityclerk at demoinwa.gov. Uh, do we have any correspondence not previously received by council? No, Mayor. Thank you. So tonight, because this is a council retreat, uh, just to um, uh, organize to just gain input from the council in regard to the issues that, it, it, that will be presented to us anyway, we're not uh, expecting comments from the public tonight and it wasn't noticed as uh, there wasn't noticed a comment period available tonight. So please feel free to bring your comments to the next meeting of the council on November 21st. So moving on to the introduction, uh, it has been a long time since the council has gathered for a retreat, five or six years I think. Um, so tonight, this process to me is just as important as the product. It's important for the public to see that we're gathering together to brainstorm and think and dig deep inside for um, what our paradigm is about leadership in the city. And also that's based on the input though that we have received from residents as we have been out in the community and read the input and listen to the input over these years. Um, so we're, uh, the goal is to create uh, 
collaborate on a paradigm, but also to create a platform for position statements that will help guide final budget decisions. So we're, we're nearing the end of our budget process, and I feel like this is going to be some valuable input into that process and also spring forward for deeper discussion as we move toward creating a strategic plan. So looking forward to conversation tonight and being led by Andrew. And I'll pass it over to the city manager if she has any comments. Nothing, just uh, thank you council for your time on this tonight. We've got senior staff here and we look forward to hearing your input and absolutely using it in final budget decisions. So thanks so much. All right. So I wanna take a moment here to introduce Andrew to you. Uh, his background, the, so we've retained Andrew Ballard of Marketing Solutions and he opened for us tonight and he's going to facilitate our retreat and uh, in our discussion of our mission, vision and values. He's a seasoned and respected growth strategist who specializes in marketing research and strategic planning. He's facilitated over 500 sessions, government and corporate, and has helped hundreds of organizations, public, private and nonprofit to develop and execute their plans. So welcome, Andrew. Awesome. She read it just the way I wrote it. It was perfect. <laughs> oh, thank you, Tracy. Um, I've had the pleasure of working with Tracy on several planning sessions. And we, our collaboration has been awesome. We've been very successful, especially with the SCA. And I am just, I'm honored to be here. So thank you. So while I'm going to facilitate the process, keep us on uh, focused and on track, um, I want to be clear that I am in service to all of you. And it's my job to be a good steward of your time and talent. And uh, to that end, um, well, Tracy already did a great job introducing me, so I'm going to bypass most of uh, my opening comments. But probably the most important thing and I also taught this at the UW School of Business for many, many years. I wrote a book on it. I mean, I eat, sleep, and breathe this. I really love it. And after doing this for 41 years, I still screw up doing it. I mean, it, you know, it's, it's a living thing. But the point of all of this is that if you love what I do, you credit me. If you hate what I do, blame Tracy. No, <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. But with all of that said, What's really important is to ensure a successful evening. It's gonna really require all of us to actively contribute to the process. And I love the way you put it, to the product. And the product we're producing today, Mission Vision Values, is the highest strategic strata. Uh, when you get into uh, strategic planning at the mid-level, that's when you're identifying measurable goals. And those goals help uh, counsel really establish their priorities. And those priorities are what will lead the city manager and staff in terms of the budgets that they bring to you. And once those budgets are approved, it is up to the, the directors to develop their work plans in support of your goals, right? I mean, as electeds, we don't get into the operational weeds. We have a fantastic staff for that. So this is really kind of uh, the trailhead, a very important evening. We've got, um, um, well, one of my favorite songs was from the 70s. It was Jerry Reed, and the title was We Have a Long Way to Go and a Short Time to Get There. We've got an aggressive agenda, and if for any reason we're not able to conclude, um, I will um, come back or we'll do Zoom or whatever at no charge to finish it. I, I, you know, I want to get this done tonight, but I'm not going to sacrifice quality uh, for time. But I, you know, I've done this uh, a few times, and usually four hours to get this, these three exercises. Ninety-seven percent of the time, it's enough. So, in terms of the agenda, you have it. I'm not going to go over it just to save time. I will unpack each of the three exercises as we initiate them. Uh, it, the, the agenda is on page four of, of your packet, not. Um, not the PowerPoint slides, but page four of your packet. So um, preliminaries, I just want to share a few things that help level set. You know, Tracy mentioned I've done this a time or two. 200 of those 500 sessions have been for government. I love working with municipalities and counties. That's where most of the work, actually we have 28 government clients. And so absolutely, oh, 29, the city of Des Moines. So I'm just going to jump right into it. 
guiding principles. This is just so we all can work productively together. So participants, my electeds, I'm asking you to agree on the agenda. I know that you've already seen it and approved it, but just my standard slide. Don't feel special. I didn't make this for you. I've used this slide for everything, corporate, government, whatever. Um, but I'm asking everybody, I'm asking my electeds to participate, but no one or few to <laughs> dominate. You know, we're gonna practice active listening skills. Everything that we learned in kindergarten that I forgot in first grade. Um, so uh, the nuance between disagree, you know, disagreeing or being disagreeable. I actually encourage disagreement. You know, a civil discourse produces a better product. Uh, it's being disagreeable in tone that I, I'm sorry, I just don't tolerate it because it's not productive. Um, it doesn't work for, I'm really trying to protect all of you. Civil discourse, and you know, again, 97% of the time it's never an issue, but I'm kind of preparing for those rare instances where it is. So, facilitator, I'm asking you, my seven electeds, to give me the authority based on the agenda to keep us focused on our topics and our time. Will you give me that authority to be a good steward of your time and talent in that way? Everybody okay? Awesome, thank you. Um, we're gonna limit sidebar conversations, which is very rare in, in government. People are, electeds are very focused. And we're gonna keep the conversation at the appropriate strategic level. We're not gonna get into the operational weeds the, you know, mission, vision, values, that's as high up the food chest, that's 30,000 feet for sure. You know, when we start doing, you know, measurable goals, you know, then we're getting a little bit closer to ground level, five to 10,000 feet. And parking lot, um, a tool used by most facilitators, if there are ideas or <coughs> issues that are not covered on the agenda, I wanna honor your contribution. So I'll put it on a separate sheet uh, a parking lot, which I will include in my report that will go to Tracy and uh, Catherine, because I wanna honor that, but then I'm gonna move us right back to um, our agenda. And again, um, if we have to you know, move on um, in that rare instance, uh, we will and we'll get it done uh, without it costing the city a penny more. So uh, just a few definitions, again, making sure that we're all singing from the same sheet music. Definition of building consensus. You all know that it's a general agreement. There's no such thing as 100% agreement. Any organization that attempts 100% agreement will never accomplish anything. Um, it's most challenging in, in the corporate world. But you know, if most like it or can live with it, um, we're gonna move forward. And if we do get high-centered, I use the thumbs technique. I'm gonna ask you, the seven of you, for your thumbs. Thumbs up, I like it. Thumbs sideways, I can live with it. Thumbs down, I don't like it. As long as the up and the sideways uh, beat the downs, we move on, you know, right? Parliamentary procedure. If the downs are close to or equal the, the um, aggregate of the side and the up, we continue the conversation. This is not about bowling over or, you know, um, making a, a, a particular timeline. So I use the nominal group technique. Now I didn't make this up, but it's a tool I've been using for about 25 of my 41 years. And it's about identifying a problem, generating solutions, but the point is moving from discussion to decision. And that's the whole point. And you know, through that thumbs process, and it just keeps things moving. Um, everyone's opinion among the seven you, uh, of you is equal. Nobody is above or below anyone else in the room. It's all equal. Everyone has an opportunity to be heard. Again, we're not, we're not trying to dominate a conversation, but heard. And um, we vote to prioritize the top solutions, majority rules, real simple, straightforward stuff you probably could recite that slide in your sleep. So best practices for a successful retreat. Everybody participates, do not sit on the sidelines. <laughs> After agreement, move on, don't second guess. Uh, we don't reverse engineer the process or the product. 
you know, once there is a majority and, and you know, this agreement, we move on. Um, visioning is the foundation of a strategic plan. I share that. After visioning comes goal setting, guided by that mission, vision, values. We use that as a lens to make sure that what we're doing is appropriate. You know, ultimately, your mission, vision, values connects to and prioritizes your service areas. Um, we all want to get everything that's important to us done. We also know there is not the resources to get everything done. That's why we prioritize. There's only three buckets of resources, human, financial, and physical capital. That's it, period. And we can't go beyond what is available, right? And so that's why your priorities are so important. Uh, we can't overwhelm um, our staff leadership, um, our city manager and directors. They need your clear direction so they can accomplish your priorities. Again, none of this is new. So the objective is to establish mission, vision, values, nothing more, and that's where I'm gonna keep us centered. So um, definitions, just, you know, not everybody has the same definition of mission, vision, values. I'm gonna give you the working definitions that we'll be using, and you know, they're, they're best practices. They're what is commonly accepted. Mission. A self-imposed purpose or duty serving as a North Star for planning that is used as a lens to uh, focus on appropriate activity. Very, that's present day, right? Very different than a vision statement, which is a foresight or mental image of achieving the results of the desired future. It's essentially the legacy that you want to leave very long term. Mission today. Typically, a vision is one generation or 20 years. That doesn't mean that you can't update it before 20, but we're thinking that far out. Value statement, um, core and guiding principles really are the code of conduct that drive you know, how the city's gonna deploy its um, activity. Um, it, it's also uh, the code of conduct for everyone associated with the city. But just to distill this thing down to what's really important, uh, you know, it's really, this thing is not behaving. Yeah, it's really, well, okay. I know why. It's, I don't mean to be pointing at this, Jeremy, but the machine is there. Pointing it here is not going to be It's about a purpose or duty for mission, vision, desired future, values, code of conduct. I mean, it doesn't need to get any more um, complex than that. So we're going to start right away. Uh, does anybody have any questions before we jump right into our exercise? We're right on time. Everybody good? Well, if something surfaces for you, bring it up. Uh, I'm going to unpack the mission exercise. So developing a mission, the qualities of a well-crafted mission statement, I already mentioned the time orientation is present day. Uh, it doesn't mean that it sunsets tomorrow. It's, it's a shelf-stable statement. It defines three things, who we are, what we do, and whom we serve. Um, it's 25 words or less. Nobody's going to remember a mission dissertation. I remember I did some consulting with Chevron, um, Chevron Energy. Their head, one of their main headquarters is in the Bay Area. <coughs> they flew me down, uh, did this whole, I walk in the lobby, and they have this beautifully framed mission statement. It was a full page of rubber. Who the heck is going to remember that? I just, it was, it was a joke. I didn't tell them that. They were paying me. But anyway, you get the idea. So, um, but again, it, it's just really simple, 25 words or less. Let me give you a few examples. My company is a full service. I see. You don't have to look at your mission, right? You should know it. As a full service agency, marketing solutions develops and implements research-based sales strategies to help small businesses accelerate revenue generation. Okay? It's 19 words. I mean, there's really nothing missing there, right? Um, uh, Maple Valley's been a long-term client. I've done mission, vision, values, strategic planning. We've even worked together to do, you know, rules of procedure. They're, they're just an awesome client. Uh, much smaller th than you folks, but they are also um, 
a um, council manager form of government. 25 words, it took a while, but I got them down to 25. The city of Maple Valley fosters a safe and welcoming community by providing services that improve quality of life, empower businesses, and support environmental stewardship. Those were the things that were very important to them, and it's a very elegant mission statement. And it meets all the criteria. So, again, just trying to keep things um, moving along here. So, three steps. You're going to answer these three questions. Who you are, what you do, and whom you serve. I've already got this thing ready to go. <clears throat> and then after that, Step two is to identify the most important content. And we're going to circle the key words or phrases that are, are most important to you. The goal is not to circle everything, because in our brainstorming, we're going to end up with a heck of a lot more than 25 words. You'll end up with 50 to 70. So we just stay focused on what is critically and the most important. And last, we're going to put them together in one paragraph. It will not make sense. It's not supposed to. But everything that's important will be right there in one space, which will make the third step much easier. Write um, the statement. Were, were you part of the session, Tracy, where we did this work for SCA? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. I've done uh, SCA the last 12 consecutive years. Every year we do their retreat. Um, <laughs> great client. I'm actually a sponsor of the SCA, just, which is how I met Tracy. So I just love that affiliation. Last step, we're going to rewrite. So we'll start with a draft statement. It will not be fully baked, but it'll be a starting point. Then we're going to rewrite that draft statement three to five times to get to a final statement. I will share this. After doing several hundred of these, I can share that if you get into a sixth rewrite or a seventh, it's usually people grappling with one word or a short phrase, and you can grapple with that all day long, but I guarantee you, you will not produce a better product. So sometimes you need to let go and um, just kind of go for it. Okay, so that's what we're doing, and we're going to just jump in and start right off. I, I always begin, is this side of the table, are you able to see the screen? I can see Okay, then I'm going to go like this. How is that? Okay. So we're going to start off by doing, you know, and you'll notice the spacing is very different, and it's very on purpose. Is there's a lot more content here than there is here. I'm going to start you off, and I am going to abbreviate just to speed things up. City of Des Moines, you have to have your brand in the mission statement. <coughs> in case it's presented, you know, outside of, uh, of your brand. Um, you don't necessarily need anything in addition to that. The only time that we add here is if the brand name does not communicate the category, right? Anybody remember the dot-com bomb? Well, the reason that so many of uh, those tech companies died in, in 2001 is one, they took all of that uh, VC money and spent it on parties. Two, they had names you couldn't pronounce or spell. How are you going to find a brand name online if you can't pronounce or spell it? Doesn't work. Um, so if they have a name like Butts, then you say, you know, um, doing X. So people know that they make chips. That's it. Oh, I forgot to give you my ABC box. I should do this. I want to make sure you guys can see it. Um, ABC, um, and I know you've heard this a hundred times, I'm sorry, Tracy, but I have all three forms of dyslexia. I am rated severe and audio and visual and moderate and kinesthetic. I cannot, I was literally, no joke, labeled mentally retarded in third grade. In the mid 60s, you could use that language. Um, but I can't spell. Uh, so the point is, you are going to see a lot of misspelled words tonight. So to get past it, I'm going to ask you, if it bothers you, I want you to quietly, if there's a, a word or a, a word that's missing a letter, 
quietly and cognitively pull a, word, a letter out of the letter box and fix it. Sometimes there might be a word that has an extra letter. Reverse the process, take it out, put it in. By the you know, nine o'clock, it's gonna all even out. It's just gonna be really ugly getting there. So that's my disclaimer. I do that because I, I got paid a lot of money to teach at the UW and I have a new cohort every quarter. I've got to explain to them why their professor can't spell. Okay, does anybody among my electeds um, think we need under who we are to define anything in addition to the city of Des Moines? Yes. Yeah. We're on the waterfront city. Ooh, okay, clarity. Thank you. See, I was trying to spell right. Okay, it's still not spelled right. Doesn't matter. Brilliant. Thank you, Harry. Um, shall we move on to um, what we do? Awesome. So I just want you to organically to give me words or short phrases, you know, about what we do as a city, you know, what, what our role is. Okay, it's been great working with you. <laughs> I'm teasing. Take your time. Just, you know, I really appreciate um, that, that category here. That was really cool. It's also an asset. Provide safety. Excellent. Thanks for taking this off. What else do we do as a municipality? Yes, Matt. I'd say the opportunity and livability. Awesome. Yes. guys are rolling now. Great stuff. You're stuck with me all night. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Think about um, not only the responsibilities of the city to serve its citizens, its businesses, um, etc strategic alliances but you know maybe even um, you know what's important to you that your city is known by yeah Harry it kind of adds on to what you just said good um, but it's, it's building community oh community big you know holding <coughs> community events wow that's so nice no, no, this is exactly perfect. All we're doing, this is, all we're doing is words and phrases that will lead us towards, you know, finally, and it's all about step three. Um, building community, community building, big stuff. Recreation. Recreation. <clears throat> yeah, being a waterfront city. I mean, you, you have a marina? Rock and roll. Great. Uh, I'm not going to require this because, again, I work for all of you, but I would love to have at least one contribution somewhere on this page from all seven of you. Uh, again, I'm not, I'm, not pulling, I'm not counting anybody out. Uh, I'm not going to point at someone because that's not my role, but I really would love you know, contributions from everybody. And you got three, op three um, exercises chances to contribute. 
I'm one of those, and my wife will verify this, I'm one of those really verbose people, which is not good. I think there's more cons than, than pros to that. But um, sometimes that quelches other people from, you know, kind of contributing. So I, I don't do that during retreats. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I just want to finish it. Yoshika. Yoshika, thank you. We met earlier, and I apologize for that. Part of my dyslexia also turns things around there. So you'll remember step two was to circle keywords and phrases. You're two steps ahead. No, I'm going to do it right now. Okay. Can, does anybody think that we shouldn't be circling community building or building community? You're, just the fact, you know, being forward thinking is very cool. Thank you. Awesome. Building com I, I do it this way so we know that it's one word. Right on. That's a big one. I also love it because it's unique. It's not in every city's mission statement. Yes, sir. We, we've been committed to adding open green spaces, parks, and other places for mm. recreation. Excellent, Jeremy. Thank you. Parks and green space spaces. Starting to, I'm starting to get a theme here, which is really cool. Yes, Harry. put culturally welcoming that's not how it's going to end up but does that kind of get the idea it, it's it's not I, I once i got it out i was thinking a little, a little broader than just different cultures because it's also um you know we have a fry festival we have there are community groups that we want to be welcoming of i'm not quite sure how to articulate that how about welcoming and inclusive We'll do the wordsmithing later, but I, I don't yeah. want to. All righty. What else? Actually, I think I have inputs from just about everybody, which is cool. Not everybody, almost. Um, any other ideas before? I mean, you have gold up here. Before we move down to whom we serve, yes. Uh, a couple of focal points in our city are our college, community education, mm -hmm. and then also uh, a growing focal point with our city is so many of the arts. We even have a backstage alley. So arts. This sounds like a pretty cool place to live. Yeah, gee. Stewards for the environment. Awesome. Any last uh, ideas here before I move into whom we serve? And by the way, you know, when we get to the third step, that's where we can wordsmith. And, you know, we can add adjectives, adverbs, you know, start, you know, to make it a, an elegant statement. So th this is just brainstorming. This is not, this is the trailhead. This is not the product or the park in your case. Well, I'm going to move down to whom we serve. And then if somebody has something that they want to add to um, what we do, we'll add it. So <clears throat> you know the process whom we serve, what are the various uh, communities that we serve?
Yes, Jeremy. Business owners. This is where I get my exercise. I don't look 82, do I? I, I get up and down a lot. And I do this for a living. That's a lot of fun. Our staff and our officers. Staff and officers? Oh, when you say staff, it's the officers are police officers. That's okay. I caught up with you. Awesome. We just went through a nine month process developing a strategic plan for the city of Marysville and the police chief was in the middle of the whole thing. He's the coolest guy. He also I don't know, our police chief's pretty cool, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna pit him against anybody because they always carry a gun. <laughs> I, I mean, I don't know if it's in your, your side or uh, the city of Kent, he always had it on his ankle. Anyway, <clears throat> because they're armed, I always treat them really nice. Tracy. Well, what I so we actually have environmental stewardship up here already. Okay. And the other thing you said, everything you're saying is really more about what we do than who whom we right. serve. Right. You know, like the, think of the whom we serve as our customers. Okay. Um, but did you have something you wanted to add to uh, what we do beyond the what we've already got up there? Uh, well. Why don't we just say fiscal responsibility up here as a placeholder? Oh, that's a, a great addition to what we do. Yes, Harry. Yeah. I'm curious, not to get us off track, but what percentage of uh, your uh, marine tenants do you think are that don't live in the city of Des Moines? 83%. Are you sure, JC, that it's not 83.5%? I'm a stats guy. I'm teasing him, but I am a stats guy. I love it. So you're talking over 80% of the mortgage is from outside of the city. Wow. So you guys are a magnet. That's, that's a huge opportunity. Cool. Okay. Um, do you think we're good to start? Understanding that we can add and we'll have to subtract because it's a lot more than 25. But I mean, just because, I mean, when we get to this third step, that doesn't uh, preclude you from adding something that makes sense, right? Okay, so let's go through here. Now I'm going to start, we're going to circle um, in green. Um, so, uh, you know, Yoshiko started us off with that building community. It could be building, community, community building, whatever you decide. Um, I'm going to circle your brand because it has to be there. I want you to look at all of my ugly writing and just organically share what you want circled. You know, the, the key things that you think. And we have to circle at least one thing 
in all three categories. Yeah, Harry. Water. So the water front? No, water front. Awesome. What are we going to circle beyond uh, building community or community building? Provide safety. I know it's up there. It was so early. Yeah. Oh, it's the first one. <laughs> Thanks, Jeremy. If you need me to read anything, I know my, my penmanship stinks. <clears throat> What else are we going to circle that we just feel strongly that it should be incorporated in our mission statement, our statement of purpose? Financial sustainability. Awesome. Thank you, JC. Now, here's an example. We wrote down fiscal responsibility, but it may end up being um, what, what JC said, fiscal and important. So that's the wordsmithing we can do. But thanks, JC. Uh, yeah. I don't know how we get away from whom we serve um, other than saying all members of our community um, because it's the residents, the boat owners, the business owners, the staff, the officers, the families, the individuals, all, everybody. I mean, it's it's how do you circle one of those Right, that's a good point because there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. um, so um, an example that I did in Denver recently was um, that involved um, all of our residents and, um, and our, our, residential, our resident and business communities or something like that to put everything together. Right. Is, is that something that you think... <clears throat> I mean, I, I think it does has to be, it, it has to be wordsmith to include everybody that's on that whom we serve. So, I mean, you could circle the whole thing in green and, and we can figure it out later, but I mean, we can't so, leave any of those so people good out point. of there. Is there a, gen and you know, if we did that, we'd be at 35 words. To your point though, and this is a good time to talk about it, is there a category or a couple categories that would be inclusive. I mean, it's like JC uh, mentioned, the overwhelming majority um, of our, our customers in the marina are not from here, but we are, we want them, we, you know. They're doing the boat, they're stopping off, they're eating at our restaurants, they're, you know, doing stuff. But to your point, um, and, and to including everybody, is there a category or two that could be inclusive without listing every single one? And I do want to, to share, we're not writing a brochure. You know, this is, you know, really tight, kind of concise. So it doesn't have to be a, a bullet of every single um, market segment out there. But maybe there is a way of couching it in uh, a shorter phrase that would be inclusive. I think what Jim is getting out is we getting as we don't want anybody to fee, feel left out, right? And that's important. I think really just what's becoming the residents, business, and then there's a third category of the people who are coming into our city. Like visitors, tourists, or? Visitors, tourists, yeah, but I'm not quite sure what that word is. Good point. Matt, what the, you I wrote all those that live, commerce, and visit Des Moines. All those that live, commerce, and visit Des Moines. Okay. Well, that's a category that's very inclusive. How do you guys feel about that? Maybe we can wordsmith it later, but at least at the start, there's something that you circle that's inclusive. Thank you. Live, that's commerce, really and what? Work. Visit Des Moines. Yeah, that's good. I mean, is that a start anyway? Yeah, starting point. It's a great that's starting cool. point. Okay. I don't know how to spell those. I certainly didn't do it right. <laughs> Live, commerce, and, and what? Visit. Excellent.
you guys will help me with spelling later. But I mean, you really got us on a good path to kind of connect all of that and we can wordsmith it later. Um, awesome. So anything else? I mean, you've got a, a brilliant start. Anything else that we want to, um, you know, several of you, just, just an observation, several of you talked about, um, you know, uh, green spaces, parks, <coughs> things like that um, I mean you, you could tie them together as arts and recreation I don't know but I mean look at this we've got recreation we've got parks we've got green spaces we've got environmental stewardship because there's so much energy there um, do you want to have something I I think so I mean, okay with the recreation parks and arts I mean <clears throat> with our art walks and our art and wine walks and the stuff that we do through downtown and um, the artists that we've partnered with, I, I mean, between our green spaces and parks and, um, you know, it's almost an alliteration, you know, recreation, arts and parks. It kind of covers everything. And then you guys will make it better when we get into step three. Would that be okay to circle? Agreed. And it might be better, so it's not so silly, but parks, recreation, and arts. But Okay, so this is where we're at, and I think that we've got the makings of some really good stuff. City of Des Moines, uh, um, you know, it could literally, this is how it worked, you know, as a, water, as a beautiful waterfront city, Des Moines and Bloom. I mean, there's so many easy ways of connecting this. Uh, providing safety, building community, fiscal responsibility, um, recreation, parks, and arts, um, whom we serve, all those uh, who live, commerce, uh, you could say commerce or shop, whatever, live, commerce, and visit. I I'm going to put all of those up on step two, and if you want to add to it, whoops. Wow, 21. Usually, you know, we're at 30 or something. You guys are way ahead of the curve. This is so cool. Okay, so we're already on step three, and we're doing really well. We're 
35 minutes into this. So the idea, and by the way, we have to cover all three. There has to be content for who we are, what we do, and whom we serve. It does not, however, have to be in that order. They just have to be included. Typically, you begin with your brand, you know, um, and we can start with just a draft, and then you all can kind of play around from there. I mean, it could be something as simple, just, you know, me kind of spitballing here. Um, as a beautiful waterfront city, Des Moines is focused on public safety, community building, and fiscal responsibility. Good um, with um, environmental stewardship of our recreation, re of our parks and arts, for all who live, shop, and visit, or, or something along that line. I mean, that was really clunky, but as a draft, at least you'd have something to work from. Does anybody want to share a draft kind of like that? I was just trying to stimulate ideas. Yes? Yeah, we've got building community. Oh, I thought I'm typing that up to be the, anyway, good. Yeah, it could be building community. It could be com uh, a community building. Uh, it can be uh, providing a safe um, environment. Um, it could, you know, a bunch of different things that, you know, all these will, will connect. Yes. Oh, I got a couple. I'd like to hear both. And then maybe we combine them. Builds a safe community. Build, builds a safe community. I'm trying, I'm trying to separate the community building from the public safety, the public safety yeah, aspect. I'm sorry. Um, builds community um, by providing safety, recreation, parks, and arts in a fiscal responsible Whoa, manner. This is so much to better. All who live, work, and play here. Oh, that is so <laughs> much better than mine. I like the live, work, and play portion of that. I here, like all of it. it <laughs> no, I mean, that was a and my handwriting's even worse than yours. So. <laughs> I don't know if that's possible. Oh, trust me, I've lost one of the big People ones. ask me if I'm, I'm a doctor, and I have to say, well, I do golf. Um, <laughs> I suck at it, but I golf. How many of your years now? So don't forget what you just said, because that was gold. I just had a couple of interjections there. Turn this on so they can hear. Um, so we are the Waterland City, and I was thinking City of Des Moines, a waterland community, provides safety, um, you know, because we've already said community there, and, and I liked how he ended, ended his. The only question um, on the fiscal responsibility, why it's important, does it belong in the mission statement or should it be in the vision? Your definitions make me think it should be in the vision statement because that's what we want to be in the future. Really so, good. So that was, that was the only thing is, does it belong in this particular statement? Um, well, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give you a little of information and you answer. I mean, I just made a huge facilitator mistake by throwing the word safety in the carry department, but look how much better he did than I did. So I'm gonna share um, the best practices for vision so vision is an aspirational future of you know what where you want to be 20 years out the legacy that you're going to live and the way we do that is through what's called the heavens exercise it's like what will the media be writing about the amazing accomplishments of the city of Des Moines yeah. and, and so it may be um, more aspirational than something that's that level maybe not well I mean, these are your products not mine and I, and I would get yeah. input from your colleagues. In my eyes, fisc fiscally re fiscal responsibility probably should be in the vision statement. That's just my personal take, okay. based on what you you just defined it as, and I've read in your your information on your presentation. Right. Yeah. So I, I, I you know, yeah, you, if you got an award for being the most fiscally responsible city in the state of the country, that's absolutely right on. I'd like to hear input from some other folks.
while you're thinking about that, I want to get that first draft up. And, and Harry, will you help me with that again? Yeah, it's, as the waterland, as a waterfront community, <clears throat> Des Moines builds community. I gotta put on my glasses to read my own writing now. By providing safety. You have to go a little bit slower. Okay. Des Moines builds community. Yeah. By providing safety, recreation, parks, and arts. In a fiscally responsible manner. for all who live, work, and play here. Okay, we've got a working draft. Let's just do a quick thing. I mean, people go, why are you so on it about 25? Because if I'm not, you end up uh, working for Chevron. Wow, really close, 26. So that's really easy to work with. Um, so the I in there twice, so. Yeah, that, that's true, no, that's a good point. That there is a little bit of redundancy, but it's our first draft, you know? And so um, as a waterfront community, uh, Des Moines builds community by providing safety, recreation, parks, and arts in a fiscally responsible manner for all who live, work, and play here. So the process, this is our first draft. Now what we want to do is, is you know, a few rewrites to, to really get it there. I mean, Harry identified the redundancy. Um, if there wasn't any, it would be scary. I've never seen a first draft go through. I've seen a second one go through, you know, one out of a hundred times. Usually it takes, you know, three to five. Did you have, are you thinking about something? Well, I mean, <clears throat> it, it, you could, the redundancy with community, but saying live, work, and play here is a little bit overdoing it. So you could just cross off here. And I mean, that's, we're all talking about the city of Des Moines. And at the end of the sentence, live, work, and play here, cross off here. Okay. <laughs> you are good. Um, I, I will change that. So we're down to 24. So I don't think with you guys, as advanced as you are, the word count's not going to be an issue. Change the first community to city. This is not your first rodeo. Or what you could do is you could change the, like the text thing. So the one is an abiding waterfront community building a safe and Let's get that up there. I, I, I mean, this is. With a semicolon. So, Des Moines is an abiding waterfront community, then you define that. Building, let's see, what is it? Building a safe, sustainable, and I'm trying to do what? Recreation, parks, and arts. I think it goes into that. So, do we need recreation and parks? Uh, let me get the rest of your thing down here. Uh, Des Moines is a waterfront community. Could you give me the rest? Yeah, uh, semicolon, building a safe and, safe and sustainable environment. And, oh, you keep that in. You're on a roll. Well, listen to your or colleagues. I, I was. Life. You could say just or quality of life. So that covers recreation, parks, arts. So and providing quality of life for all who live for those.
those who would, you know, teaching me would have to do it for it to be for Christ. Not for all who would go through struggles, because that's for everybody. I'm thinking. Um, well, let's finish the statement, and then we'll kind of figure it out. And one of the. Okay, so I'm going to show you a trick on how to deal with that. Uh, quality of life for all who. For our residents, too, who live with us. For our for citizens or whatever. For our members, whatever we're doing. For to live with us. <coughs> okay, so this is awesome. And every time you do this, you just get a little better. So here's a trick on dealing with that live, work, and play here, is that you don't make it the last sentence. You move it up. And then the, the here goes away. So Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe and sustainable environment um, and providing quality of life for all Or for its citizens to For its residents to Oh, oh, there you go. The, the challenge, the challenge is, is that they're we not all. We we lose our yeah. businesses. We yeah. lose our staff. We lose our police officers. Yeah. By saying that, that that the our business. citizens, they're yeah. not everybody that patronizes our businesses or our business owners live here. So, right, so you, you ostracize the rest of those people that mm -hmm. are not a part of our community other than the fact that they work here and they patronize our businesses. So what I'm hearing from... To pardon me? A quality of life to Quality of place is um, a very accepted term. That's used a lot. To live, so, work, and play. Quality, quality of place to live and work and play. And doesn't the play include everybody that doesn't live here? Does, exactly. Yeah. The, the, the boaters, the, the recreation in the parks, the parks, the, the shoppers, the shoppers, everything. Excellent. Okay, uh, major breakthrough here. Help me. Um, quality of place. Okay. Uh, Somebody just said it, had a complete thought to finish it. I, I think the two of us came up with it together. So. Yeah, like a, what, a quality, put, providing a Pro quality place qu to live, work, and play? To live, work, and play. Or, a, qu a quality place. Yeah. Wow, let me read this. Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe and sustainable environment and providing uh, provide is it providing I, a quality I, I think I, I think place should be a, a quality environment mm -hmm. well we've already got I, environment right here oh, okay okay we're so a quality uh, but, so my question was yeah does, is it no a quality place or quality of place I've seen it both ways. I'm actually, I need to engage some other folks here. Yeah. What do you guys think about this? Are we getting closer? Let me read what we've got so far. It's not done, but it's close. Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe and sustainable environment and providing a quality place to live, work, and play. See, that's, um, I mean, that's grammatically correct. It's, it's everything, and it kind of includes everybody. I don't even have to count. I know it's below 25. I'm going to read it again, and then I want to engage this part of the room to get your ideas and thoughts. I'm not saying we're done. We can, we can make it better or play with it. But we're a heck of a lot closer than we were 10 minutes ago. Really nice work. Des Moines is, what since we're not dealing with since we're not dealing with word count, one thing I think about when I see your waterfront is beauty. 
What about Des Moines is a beautiful waterfront community. Does that make it better or worse? What do you think? Yeah, I, I think you're trying to include water in there somewhere, but I'm, I'm not sure where it's best placed. And I don't know, I'm wondering if we kind of went from quality of life to quality of place. Yes. Um, uh, and so I'm wondering if it was more of a enhancing quality of life. I think that's a more uh, a, a phrasing that people would easily understand than a quality place. Um, well, let's, uh, let's yeah. why don't you help us do a, another version of this. Um, Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe and sustainable environment and providing a quality place to live, work, and play. So what you're suggesting is kind of rearranging and changing things. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I want to get it on paper because eventually we're going to end up with, you know, maybe two different versions and that's where we're going to do thumbs up <coughs> type thing to, to land on a final. Everything is happening the way it's supposed to happen. I have to number the pages. Can you, is it a, I think it would be proper to say to a quality of life, work, and play. That kind of gets to a two thirds. We can Maybe we could incorporate that into Yoshiko's deal. Okay. So you had some ideas. I'd really like to hear them and get them on uh, up on a, another statement. Because what often happens is you end up creating a hybrid. Right. So, um, you have great ideas. Let me try. Do you mind just kind of giving me a full statement sure. there? I think um, if we were to pull some things from the first, the second, and third draft, something like the city of Des Moines. Yep. Des Moines is the only thing I'm spelling right. That's good. <laughs> and it's the hard, well, I've been practicing. <laughs> it's your city. Uh -huh. Okay. The most important yeah. thing is how you say it. That's right. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, there's different ways. Des Moines. Des Moines. It, it depends on which parallel you're on. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go yeah, ahead. It's okay. It's okay. Um, a waterfront community. And I'm working on, I don't know if I, which verb I like here. We have provide a couple of times, um, but we also, so I could guess I could stick for that by providing. So a waterfront community. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes. The city of Des Moines, a waterfront community, I guess it's provides. Yes. Comma provides. a safe and sustainable environment uh -huh. with a high quality of life for all who live, work, and play. And I'm going to put the here back in there, but. With a high quality of life? Yeah. And we can take it out or move it up. I think we're at like 27, 28, mm. but um, I'm, I don't want to get hung up on that until we get a little bit closer. 
Okay, so we've got two different versions. And um, what I'm going to suggest at this point is that um, we pick one version and then edit that. Because going back and editing two versions, uh, we wouldn't get much else done tonight. So are you guys all okay with that for process? Okay. So you see the two versions. Um, I'm just going to... Um, for the sake of ease, I'm going to call that one and two. And uh, I'm going to ask all seven of you to vote. Um, and vote and vote once. It's not vote and vote often. <laughs> um, uh, choose one. So all of those of you that prefer number two, please raise your hand. Could you repeat? Yeah, I will. I'll read. Here, but... I have to, I'll read them both. Okay, uh, number two, the city of Des Moines, a waterfront community, provides a safe and sustainable environment with a high quality of life for all who live, work, and play here. The next one, number one, uh, Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe and sustainable environment and providing a quality of life uh, to live, work, and play. And I'm not suggesting that either one of them is done. What I'd like to do is to find out the will of all of you to choose the one you prefer, and then we focus like a laser beam on editing and improving that. Okay? So, um, all that prefer um, the second one as the one that we work on editing, raise your hand, please. Okay, all of those that would like to work on and edit number one, raise your hand. Okay, you two didn't vote. Everybody has to vote once. I know, I'm just. You still ruminating. Remember, they're not, they're not complete. It's no. what we're gonna edit. I understand that, I'm a copy editor by profession. So oh, okay. I'm, I'm sitting here, you know, in that case, trying to copy edit the main play in the, in the process. And I'm, I'm looking at which one is easier to attain what I'm, to achieve what I'm trying to attain. Fair enough. Um, while Gene is thinking about that and JC is thinking about that, those are the only two that didn't vote. I need, so I had one for number two. Actually, you didn't vote either, did you? I'm kind of on the fence. Okay. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, all I want to do is to have you pick one, and then we will do our editing on the final one, and that's where Gene is going to feel better. So you're looking at the one Gene uh, that you think is. I think I'm looking at. I think I'm looking at one. Okay. The problem is trying to get into an act, to a uh, active rather than passive. Right, but don't worry about that because that's the work to come. Right. We we have to select one. You know, it's a process of elimination. Right. This is the nominal group technique at work. I'm going to ask the question one more time. I mean, so far I have a majority for number one, um, and the person that came up with number two, which I think is brilliant, is on the fence. All that means mm -hmm. is that you're, critical, you're a critical thinker. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. That's an awesome thing. So I'm going to ask one more time, and I'm going to ask all of you to vote. And if you don't want to vote, I'm going to accept that and just take the majority. For all of those that would prefer to edit number two, please raise your hand. One. Um, all those that prefer to edit number one, please raise your hand. There's um, a definite majority. OK. Okay, Gene, this is where we need you to help. Okay, what I would what I would do is, you know, keep the Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a Ooh, already I like it. Go ahead. Okay.
committed to building a safe and sustainable environment. Building a safe and sustainable. Thank you. Environment, I'm assuming. Yes. Comma. Providing. Uh, uh, Would it be providing or by providing? No, I, I, I think. No, I think you could. I think I'm you trusting you. Providing. Mm. Providing. Thank you. Providing uh, than it is uh, a quality of life. Uh, for all to, you know, to live, work, and play. Ooh, do you see what he did? You're a good editor. Okay, I'm just going to read it for everybody. So I just one question: is, is our we're trying to get it down to 25? Mm -hmm. So I you use, work on that. So right. it's like, I use that as a tool. Right. But when it comes <clears throat> down to it, right. I, I'm you know I'm very structured, but I'm not an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, if we end up at 26 and you are happy, then alert the media. That's great. But if I let go of that 25 a half hour ago, we'd be at 30 words. Yeah. Um, this is too elegant to quibble about one word. I'm going to read it to everybody. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe and sustainable environment, comma, providing a quality of life. He got your, your life in there. Mm -hmm. um, for all to live, work, and play. I see a lot of positive head nodding, Gene. Does anybody have any heartburn over this or um, a recommendation? Um, just one, one more offering, possibly opening it with something a little, it, it's not um, the word beautiful, but what it, it, you open with a waterfront community, Des Moines is committed to building, and it kind of says beautiful without saying beautiful. You mean as a waterfront community? And that actually adds a word. Yeah, as <laughs> a waterfront community doesn't make all the rest of the things happen. It's just opening with a definition. Like your, your very first thing is something that's beautiful without saying the word beautiful. Anyway, right. uh, but the first, your first offering to it is fine with me. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to try something. Did you, looks like you have something to share, Jason. No, no this is just my resting idiot. Good, good. No, 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 it's good. So I'm going to try something. Just so FYI, I can't see that. Oh, got it. Okay. So it's it would be nice. I I sit here and I wait for you to repeat the whole thing. I'm going to do that right now. In well, fact, no, please, not not just for me. <laughs> keep, keep no, no, the, for everybody, because I actually have a technique that I'm going to do, um, it, and it's exactly where I was going. So this meets all the criteria for an excellent. skipped the line in a previous slide that said it should include a citizen benefit. It includes that too. So I'm going to ask all my electives to just bear with me. Just follow me here. I'm going to ask you to close your eyes and just listen. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe and sustainable environment, providing a quality of life for all to live Sometimes when you close your eyes, you block out the noise. So I, um, 
We're doing great. We're right on time. It's a quality product. Um, open for discussion. I mean, this is the time to bring something up if you've got some heartburn. Because once you once you agree on it, remember the old not reverse engineering stuff? You know, I have the benefit of being able to compare this to a bunch of other safe products. Um, but <coughs> so Tracy uh, shared a second way. Would you look at that and read it the way it's in your head, please? I don't want to discount that you had another idea. Well, uh, okay. A lot of times when you're in Des Moines, it's committed to providing a safe, sustainable environment with a high quality of life for all who are working. A lot of times when you're committed to build, okay, I'm sorry. Did you want to just read this um, and just change your front a end? A lot of front community in Des Moines is committed to building a safe and sustainable environment providing a quality of life for all who live with each other. Okay. Would you read it the way it's written? Because uh, I want input from everybody. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe and sustainable environment, providing a quality of life for all who live, work, and play. I'd like to hear, thank you okay. for doing both. I'd like to hear um, anybody that wants to share. I'm not going around the room. Uh, I, you know, somebody, you, you can say you like it, you can say, I, I just want to give the input that uh, while I appreciate Tracy's iteration, that I, I think the way it's written up there is it, it gives the statement the way we want it to be. So okay. I'm going to stick with that one. Okay. Does anybody else have it? Thank you, Jeremy. Does anybody else have comments? Harry, look like you're ruminating. Yeah, this is a little, this, I'm not ruminating because it's kind of troubled. Um, well, good for you for identifying the, that. But and sustainable environment, comma, providing a quality of life, it, it needs the better connection to me. It, it, those are two separate thoughts that somehow are not sort of joined I get in, it. in that sentence. Gene, how would you um, share why you did it this way? Because I know you're a professional. Okay, so what was your point, Harry? He After felt like it was disconnected. I was trying to get rid of a, you're trying to get rid of a word. Yeah, I know. And, and I was trying to figure out a way to do it without having the word. <laughs> well, and you've got an and here. So if you do something and and then something and, it, mm -hmm. I know why you're. You can but do a semicolon. You can push, you can take the and out of the. You can take the and out of the first safe and sustainable environment well, by building. Yeah. Sustainable environment yeah. and, and providing quality of life. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I, I, that's the thing is that then I think you want to go to that provides the quality of life for all. Read it the way that you, you're thinking based on that. I mean, that was brilliant. In other words, okay, so Des Moines. Building a safe, comma, sustainable environment that provides a quality of life. Okay. Right. So Correct. I'm going to read it the way the two of you are. Um, so it's, the, it's Des Moines, not Des Moines. Speak to that community. <laughs> <laughs> you, you hired me. Did <laughs> <laughs> you say data or data? Um, data? I say data. But that's only during yeah. contracts. You can't generate them, right? Well, what's really funny is I used to work for a company that I was the CEO of a West Coast company that was actually headquartered in uh, White Plains, New York. And so I was flying back and forth and all that. And what I learned is East Coasters don't say resources, they say resources. And there's a whole bunch of words like that. And I had to put on my East Coast hat. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna read it. I think the way you guys are all, I, I just think you did it. See, that's why we open it for discussion. You've improved on something that was already really good. 
Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building safe, sustainable environments that for a safe. No. Oh, safe. I'm sorry, a safe, comma, sustainable environment that provides a quality of life for all to live, work, and play. Okay. Matt, you go on like that made it better. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying is we have to think if you make that change, you have to think design to get back to that. Well, they're two different words. Um, are you saying that that's a good match? Well, what I'm saying is a community committed to, bu committed to building and providing a quality of life. Well, so the, the building a safe, sustainable environment, comma, that provides a quality of life for all to live, work, and play. <laughs> I need validation. Okay. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable community, a sustainable environment that provides a quality of life for all to live, work, and play. By providing. Huh? By providing. Maybe. And, and provide. Well, and, okay, if you want to read no, by sorry. providing a quality of life for all to live. It, it does, it is kind of a good separate. Providing and building is nasty. No, I, I think, I, I think that having them both in there is good. One, once you put that's in there, it changes the ending for provide or provides or providing. Once you so put you that in there. Jeremy? No, 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 I, I agree with both Tracy and um, <coughs> Yoshiko. It, it just, it, by changing the word, the, the prefix to provide changes the ending. So if you want it to keep, if you want to keep it with so building and by providing, providing, by can providing or. Can you read it the way that Des Moines, Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable environment by providing a quality of life for all that live, work, and play. Yeah, I get it. It's, it's more of an active tense. Is that better? Mm -hmm. I got a little bit of a nod from Gene. I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm... I'm I'm having a, a moment here. You having a meltdown, Gene? No, I'm not having a meltdown. Share with your colleagues. <laughs> well, when you say, okay, providing a quality of life for all to, to live, work, and play, um, back the, a quality of life at that point could be either good or bad. So, so the thing is, is how to get into it. Right, but I'm trying to see if there's some way that you, to it's insert a positive statement, a positive indicator. Well, I tell you what. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I love that. No, oh, did I, you hear Tracy? I, I did not hear. It's clear to me that she works for say? the Department of Redundancy. Department. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. So uh, we're out of time. We need to move on. You've got a quality product. And if you want to do a little wordsmithing with Gene's help later, uh, you can do that. But I really want to get all three of these things done. Do I have your permission to leave it as is? So this is what I've got a thumbs up here. This is what I've got. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable community 
by providing a quality of life for all who live, work, and play. Okay. <laughs> My colleague, no, no, no. Grace Matsui, has, has a single word that will, that will accomplish what I was doing. That's and it. that's a, providing a high quality of life for all who live, work, and play. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, we, you know, we're over the, the word count, but I would rather say it's okay. Because here's the deal. The 25 rule is to keep you from going crazy. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I always let go at the end. I guarantee you this. There is no business owner. There is no citizen. There is no boat owner who goes, holy crap, that's 28 words. I'm out of here. <laughs> that isn't going to happen. So this is what we've got. And I'm going to say, let's stick a fork in it. And if you guys want to, you know, I recommend that you don't. <laughs> but um, Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable environment by providing a high quality of life for all to live, work, and play. Well, I love the bingo. Well, the bingo is you guys. This is your problem. Um, I have to do some coding for my staff. Um, Nice work, everybody. Pretty cool, huh? Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> I'm full. <so>, I'm so. <laughs> okay. A little bit of hazing here. <laughs> so, um, because it's important to understand that um, all three of these statements um, will be put on the same web page or in the lobby, you don't, you don't, you don't separate them. Um, I'm going to leave it up there uh, to start our next exercise. So the one in brackets is our new mission statement. Now we're going to jump into vision. First wait, 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 wait. Would it be okay to keep wait, wait. Wait. Please read the mission statement for me, if you wouldn't mind, sir. I would be happy to. Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable community, providing a high quality of life for all to live, work, and play. Sir, that is poor sentence construction. Please remove the words committed to. Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe, sustainable uh, environment by providing a high quality of life for all to live, work, and play. Okay, well, that's better, but I saw but it's okay. Um, you brought it up. We're going to do the vote. No, We're going to do the vote. No, no, I'm, I'm so that's a third version, which, by the way, it works. You're just pulling out and doing the committed. Um, you're getting rid of committed. You're just saying community building a safe. So um, version one is Des Moines is a waterfront community committed to building a safe, sustainable environment by providing a high quality of life for all to live, work, and play. JC's edit sounds like this. Des Moines is a waterfront community building a safe, sustainable environment by providing a high quality of life for all to live, work, and play. So I'm going to call... JC's version number one, and I'm going to call this version number two, the one in parentheses. So, yes? You can solve this problem by just putting a semicolon in. So you can, you can, it does become correct if you put a semicolon in after the word community, and then everything after the semicolon is a definition of a safe word. So it solves this problem. It also solves it for you. Well, no. He, she's saying don't drop community. Don't drop any word. Yeah. Just put a Are you okay with that? Like I said, I, I couldn't help myself. I basically, I don't believe in that form of sentence construction. It's what uh, a mentor of mine called the yoga street. Got it. It's what you don't commit to doing something. Gotcha. You either try, either do, or not do. Yoda says that. He's, so He's correct. Well, so we need to do uh, a vote. I mean, a new version is put up. 
So I called JC's version one, and I called the version that we thought we had as number two. All of those that prefer number one, show of hands. The one, number one is the one that JC said, okay. removing committee. One, two. Um, Gene, you're not even voting for your own one. JC, I mean. Okay, those of you that prefer the original version, show of hands. Okay, we're moving on. I still, I just wanted to honor the contribution. Yes. That's it. Everybody's opinion is equal and heard. Remember my nominal group thing? Okay, so now, I'm going to jump into vision. So here it is, qualities of a well-crafted vision statement. Just like the time orientation for a mission was present day, time orientation for a vision is one generation, 20 years out. You know, you're thinking, and as I said before, you can update it in five or 10 years if you want to, but we're thinking <coughs> big. Have you ever heard of a BHAG? It was in Jim Collins' book, um, built to last, big, high, big, hairy, audacious goal. This is a big. This is a B hat. Big, hairy, audacious vision. Okay, so short and very easy to recall. Fifteen words or less. I'm going to show you some examples here. Communicates the city's desired future, and it's a really fun exercise. Developing a vision requires that you abandon reality. You know, get out of your head to create a preferred future. If you're thinking of, if you start thinking like, well, how are we actually going to achieve that? You're not visioning. Okay, that's not, I mean, that's not visioning. That's uh, getting details and, and things that don't matter. Think big outside the box. Uh, don't worry about how. I'm a, ahead of my slides. Think about the legacy you will leave. So here are two examples. To be the leader in marketing innovation and resources for small business. That is me, and that's what, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. It, you just don't need the full word count to really communicate something big. See, what we're saying is that we are the lead, uh, we wanna be the leaders. By the way, your vision statement can communicate an aspiration, or it can also communicate it in the way that you've already arrived. You know, we are the leader it's whatever you're comfortable with. I chose to be. Uh, to be the world's most desired and successful premium car. Who do you think would be that audacious? To be the world's most successful premium, what's that? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. That's the number one answer I got. 10 years ago, it was Mercedes or Lexus. Guess what? It's Ford. They, do, I mean, how audacious of them. That's not true. The Ford Focus is a premium brand. It, it is indeed. Oh. Well, it wasn't when I built this slide. <laughs> yeah. Don't, let's, let's not get high-centered here. The, the point is that Alan Mulally did this with his executive team. Anybody remember that name? He was the CEO of Boeing. They stole him from us. But I mean, that's audacious. I love that. To create a city that is the crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest. That is the city of Maple Valley. That was their thing. Okay. So, let's, uh, what's that? <laughs> You're moving to Maple Valley? No, no. I lived there before. Oh, did you? More like Earth is falling than Crown Jewel. Right, but the way they put it, it's a much better marketing tactic yeah. than the way you put it. Maybe that's why you left. <laughs> okay, three steps again. Brainstorm about your future, 20 years out. You're gonna develop headlines that the media will be writing about you in the future. I mean, these have to be big, hairy, audacious headlines. And they have to be between four, the reason they call it a headlines exercise is it has to be between four and seven words. That is the average headline, right, Gene? Headlines are just, hook them. You get them to read the first sentence and the first paragraph. That's all a headline is designed to do. First sentence is designed to get them to read the rest of the paragraph. The rest of the copywriting is cake, right? Anyway. Um, so, uh, anyway, it's got to be four to seven words, bullet, got to be short, fit on one line. 
fast paced. This is brainstorming, no bad ideas or judgment. So in brainstorming, uh, if Matt says ABC and a few minutes later Jeremy says ABC, JC can't say, Jeremy, Matt already said ABC. No, I know I'm being silly, but that's judgment. Fast paced, boom. I'm only going to give you 10 minutes to do your brainstorming. Then we'll get into the generative work. Consolidate the list. Number two, delete or group duplicates or similar ideas. Because this is when you're going to start voting. I don't want you spreading your dots over similar concepts. It gets really muddy. Vote to surface the top vision phrase. But when you vote, you're not voting on a headline. You're voting on what you believe will be the foundation for the best vision statement. So when we go to number two, we flip from our headline mentality to which of these headlines will be the foundation of a good vision statement? It will require a lot of you know, writing after that. Choose and rewrite the final statement. Based on the chosen phrase, rewrite into a vision statement. It should be con a concise and inspiring statement. Okay, so that's what we're doing. And, and this is just throw it out. Um, uh, really, really quick stuff. So big headlines. I want you to think to 2044. You know, it's a long time. But, um, you know, when I was doing this 25 years ago, people thought, 2025? Are you kidding me? We're here. Yes, start us off, Harry. Modern small community. Thanks for starting us off. Remember, though, we're writing this in headlines. A modern small community. <laughs> That's the best in the freaking I'm world. Sound. <laughs> Great. Next. Yeah, Gene. Falcon counting fibers, whatever it is. Like that. Whoops. Should be a Y apostrophe F. Vibrant. Vibrant what? Marine. Marine playground. I'd read that article. Awesome. Great work, everybody. Who's next? Take the sword back to life. No, we're not. Judgment. We're brainstorming. I just said I there's just no brain, judgment. I just brainstormed something bigger. That's all. <laughs> if you have a new one, let's put it up there. King, King County. You know, it's going to get, it's gonna get deleted. Playground. Yeah. No, really. There is no judgment. we got to fly. Boom, boom, boom. Remember, this is not a final product. We're, we're going to rewrite. Des yeah. Moines, the place to be. Pardon? Des Moines, the place to be. Des Moines, the place to be. I'm channeling my Aunt Tracy. <laughs> okay, people, ratchet up. Couldn't get it all quite in, but it, it's good. But we know what the thought is. Um, that that's a headline. The ultimate recreational environment. I have to have at least one full um, flip chart. I often end up doing one and a half. So. The gateway to the King County Camino. Camino? Yeah, like the Camino that they have in, in Spain. Oh. We've got hundreds of miles of count, paved county 
trail you could go from here to okay Kingtown. help me out the gateway to the king county camino thank you <laughs> how do you spell that I'm not the brightest bulb in the box, but I'd never heard of that before. Okay, but you know, you travel, don't you? No, but a friend of mine's done it. Like, oh, okay, fire it out, fast pace. We only have five minutes left. I want six from you, Jeremy. Drop and give me six. I took four years of journalism in high school. Uh -huh. Ended up as the photo editor of the school newspaper because I can't come up with this good. The city where people can't come up with that. <laughs> Sorry. No, I, you're, you're the dude. I love it. Um, the premium destination on the Salish Sea. I'm going to um, share an observation, and, and this happens like 75% of the time. I, I'm not judging. I, I'm just not hearing ehabs. What I'm hearing are slogans. Yeah. No, I mean, slogans don't make a good vision statement. I shouldn't say that. Sometimes they really do. But this behab, you know, big, hairy, audacious yes, vision. Sir, you said headline. Right. And so you incentivize. I want headlines that are talking about the just like the amazing things that Des Moines accomplished 20 years from now. Like, you know, we did this amazing thing. I'm, I'm trying to get you to up your game. That's all I'm saying. Something about education, like, you know, here it's a slogan. I do like PH Des Moines or something. You know, we've got the college there. They're continually growing. There, so up for education. I mean, you can go to we can go to preschool and then I'll preschool and get you a PhD. So we've got okay, great. Just walking. give me the headline and I'll get it up there. Uh, uh, and as she educational center of the south, uh, some of those line up K through 12, but it's second educational you know, center of center the what. Okay, who's next? I must not be doing this right. This is usually the exercise that everybody loves. And it's like, I feel like I'm pulling your teeth. But I'll take responsibility. If I may, sir. By framing it as a headline, you constrain the thought process. I can tell you that most of the residents who are moved here because this is an established, this is the American dream. And I'm not being hyperbolic. People moved here because it was the highest bang for buck equation. You got you could buy a modestly priced house. Right. Oh, I got your. I got your your and thing up there. The education quality was pretty good. You had proximity to Seattle to all of this outdoor wonderfulness and for this No, I get it. Time, I get it. It was the bomb and it isn't sexy, but a primary goal is to move that window 20 years into I get it and that's the purpose of Strategic planning. Anyway, I, I loved what you put, and I got it up there. What else? Any other headlines? Future yeah. cities, small town feel. 
Say that again. Future City Small Town Theater. Got it. I'm getting my exercise again. This is good. Anything else or do you want to call it a day on this? Well, not hearing any more contributions, we'll jump to step two. So before we prioritize and you guys use uh, your sticky dots, before you do your sticky dots, we're going to take a break at seven. Um, what we're trying to do now is to consolidate the list by um, removing any duplicates. And I think I only see two up there, but what you see is way more important than what I see. I'm going to read them. My writing's actually getting better as the night's going on. I don't know, what, what's up with that? <laughs> yeah, I mean, okay, so here we go. <laughs> A modern small community. South King County's vibrant marine playground. Des Moines, the place to be. Des Moines becomes center of innovation, uh, of K-12 innovation model, or innovation for the K-12 model. Um, the ultimate recreational environment, the best place to live, work, and play, the gateway to King County Camino, the um, premium destination on the Salish Sea, uh, the place on the sound for all, education center of the South Sound, we are the American dream, future city comma small town feel. So there's clearly a few duplicates, nothing too crazy, but you have to identify them, I can't. Yes. Brilliant. Like brilliant. Okay, brilliant. Well, that was fast. Um, what? Know, I, I'll see. I, I think we need to focus on it being Des Moines, not South King County or Salish. We are Des Moines. Um, so when we get, so I, I get it. And that'll be step three when we rewrite. Right. And, and by the way, uh, I, I completely get that. But by the way, if you notice all my examples, not one of them has a brand name. And they typically don't. And the reason they don't is because it's always presented under the mission, which always has the brand name. You know, you don't separate those. You show all three at the same time. My point with South King County and Salish and those kind of things are brands as well. Touche. Totally agree. And um, when we consolidate, then you get to vote. Um, thank you, Harry. So what Harry just did was not only identify a similarity, he actually identified the one to get rid of. So if he hadn't have done that, my comment would have been, which one is the bigger idea? You know, which one would make a better vision statement? And so he, he said he liked this one better. So that was great. Well, I definitely get how the K-12 and the education are the same. Mm -hmm. um, this doesn't communicate anything about education. Yeah, no, I didn't, wasn't meaning that. Oh, gotcha. That's, so, that's now number three because we got rid of number one. Oh, I gotcha. Okay. Remember, I have Lex Dixia, so be careful with me. <laughs> Handle me gently. Okay, so good point. I would combine them. Okay, and we can certainly do that. Uh -huh. So what we've got is a duplicate because they both have to do with education. One says Des Moines becomes the center of innovative K-12 model. Again, these are all gonna get wordsmith. Uh, the next one is education center of the South Sound. Um, 
what I would say, rather than you know writing a you know, new stuff. I mean, if that's what you want, we'll do it. This this is your thing, not mine. What I would do is say, is one of them more powerful or the bigger idea than the other? And I'm, I, I, I have to agree because there's not much we can do about K through 12. I mean, that's all school board stuff, but school education, district. yeah. Does anybody have a, a differing comment? What I'm hearing is education's a big deal, but this is more of an umbrella. Could we say education and training? Because as I thought about it more, I thought about how labor is putting in a new education center, or a new training center. Um, mm -hmm. Done. And again, if it bubbles up to the top, then we'll really get uh, real with it. Okay, good work. What else? Tracy, it looked like you had an idea earlier. Well, I'm, I, I think I'm, I mean, just when we might uh, overlook something, we're, we... You want to add one? Yeah. I'm good with that. And it's not a duplicate, so great. Now, I got no problem adding. We can't add after we vote, but we certainly can now. For Please. Arts, music and culture. Very good. Sure, and, and we'll, we'll rewrite these. The reason that we don't wordsmith them here is because it's a waste of time if they don't bubble up to the top. But just like I added yours, I'm adding yours. Can we put something about charm up there? Which one? Well, Charming. no offense, Tracy, but you're wordsmithing. That's step three. Okay. And, and the reason that we don't wordsmith in step two is because it's a waste of time if it, if it doesn't get voted up to the top. Gotcha. Yeah, it, it's not me just being a jerk. I mean, there's actually some time you, you could add one without oh. wordsmithing anything, saying Des Moines, a charming tourist. water tourist, tourist. charming tourist destination. Tur uh, destination or waterfront charming waterfront tourist destination yeah we didn't put the tourist thing in there i think that's a big part of our vision also being so close to the airport excellent i've got it up there and again if it bubbles to the top you'll work on it okay. now remember though a vision is uh, not a slogan, it is an aspiration. We are going to be here by this time. You know, it's, uh, well, I can put up, um, we're going to take a break here in a second. I can put up the examples so that, you know, it's really vision esque rather than um, uh, a tourist slogan. Anyway, adding it, <coughs> great. Are there any more duplicates up here? I'll read them again. Um, South King County's vibrant marine playground. I, I isn't um, isn't water destination and marine playground mm -hmm. a duplicate? Mm -hmm. Which one's the bigger thought? I I I actually think the the latter is the bigger thought. Bigger thought. Okay, yeah. great. Absolutely. Does anybody else have a, a counterpoint? Looks like um, I was actually I was actually thinking of it, it getting in wordsmithing. Well, let's not do that. Right. We wordsmith after we vote. No, no, I understand that. Okay. So maybe place to be a destination is the same. There's more. Well, let's let's do one at a time. So I am getting There's rid more. of this marine thing, in preference to this marine thing. Is that correct? Getting rid of the two marine things. Yes. South King County's vibrant marine playground, and the other one is Des Moines is a charming waterfront destination. And I prefer the first. You prefer the first. Okay, well, we'll do the vote. Um, I just read the two. Um, show of hands, how many of you prefer the first one? One, two, three, four. Well, we already have a majority. Okay, so we go with the first one. 
And again, you know, if it bubbles up to the top, you can wordsmith it and add charming and do whatever you want. So it's not like you're losing something. I'm glad that you're taking ownership of this, though. Um, now, back to who had another idea? Go ahead. I think the one, the place to be, and the best place to work, live, and play are kind of redundant, and, and I would prefer to remove the first. OK. Uh, is everybody cool with what Harry is suggesting? I'll read them. Des Moines, comma, the place to be. The best place to live, work, and play. Or play. Well, we'll wordsmith later. No, you said say or. OK. Or play. Got the it. only thing about that is if we choose that as a valid option, we're always going to use that live, work, and play um, phrase right above it. It's either no. going to go vision, They're all going to be together. Right, and so we've all, that's prob that phrase. So you're, you're suggesting the place to be. Yes. Got it. Thank you. No, I, I get it. That's great. So let's go ahead and quick do a, a show of hands. We need to get you on break. A show of hands, how many of you prefer Des Moines, uh, the place to be, over um, live, work, and play? Uh, one, two, three, I got a majority. The hope is that every, oh, you're, you're voting with no, your head. No, no, no. Okay. And again, when we wordsmith, you can put a bunch of stuff back in there. But uh, I think, uh, Tracy, your point was salient. Okay. Are there any other uh, similar concepts up there? I'm going to read them all again. They're all similar. And the place on the sound for all are all destination. They're all very destination-ish, all very recreation-ish. Got it. So, so they're they're pretty redundant of each other. So let, let, let's do the ones. This idea that we can consolidate. Okay, you know, give me those again. Um, the ultimate recreational environment. The uh, gateway to the King County Camino. Got it. Got it. And the place on the sound for all. Oh, the place on the sound for all. Yeah. Okay. All right. So we have the ultimate recreational environment, the gateway to King County Camino, the premium destination on the Salish Sea. I can't say Salish Sea. Um, the place on the sound for all. Which one of those is the bigger idea? that you think would be the foundation for a good vision statement? My preference is the place on the sound for all. OK. Other contributions? I'm thinking the premium destination on the Salish Sea. OK. I've got two inputs. Anybody else? So I've got two for the premium destination. I've got one on place on the sound for all. And I, I like the place on the sound for all as well. The, how many people said place on the sound for all? Two. One, two, three. Any other votes? Okay. The winner is the place on the sound for all. And if it bubbles up to the top, you know, you can add language for the others. But this is just about consolidation. And the idea or the goal is not to consolidate this down to just a couple phrases. We, we need to vote. So um, I may be wrong, but it looks to me like we have um, gotten rid of all of the duplicates. Does anybody see something up there? I'm going to read them again. This is what is remaining. South King County's vibrant marine playground. Des Moines, the place to be. 
the place on the Sound for All Education and Training Center of the South Sound, We Are the American Dream, Future City Small Town Feel, um, the, um, the Mecca for the Arts, Music, and Culture, and that's it. I think that those are separate deals, aren't they? Okay, so we're going on break. Um, our 15 minute break just got turned into 10 minutes. So, well, I just gonna get all this stuff done. We actually are really back on track. So please look at your watch. Have you ever been to a convention where the 15 minute break turns into 25? No. Happens all the time. I'm gonna ask you all to be back in nine minutes so they can start in 10. Just look at your watch, because that's what you're, or that clock. Oh, you bet. Facilitators don't get breaks.
Okay, everybody, we're at uh, the end of our break. If uh, my electeds would please uh, take their seat and we will continue with our second exercise. I'm drinking caffeine. So we'll, we'll go a little faster. How's that? Where'd you get that? Oh, it's all in the conference room. The conference room has all sorts of sodas and water and snacks. Cool. Keep, keep going. Let me do this, please. Can I explain the exercise menu? Oh, no, 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 wait, there's a good that. I can explain it okay. in less than a minute. And then go get yourself some nourishment because you'll have plenty of time to vote. Okay, everybody, if I can have your attention. Everybody has two strips. Uh, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Actually, you have two different sets of these. You're only using one. You're going to use the second sheet for the last exercise. Oh, my gosh. I, um, I blew it. I'm not going to. So you can only use. One strip, one, two, and a three. I um, got this confused with an exercise I did yesterday. <laughs> I am sorry. So you can only spend one row. You're going to uh, adhere. Okay. One, 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 two, and one, three. I apologize. I should have cut them in half. You can only extend three dots. And you're going to put your one, two, and three directly underneath the one you're voting on. I don't want it on the side or on the top because I won't be able to tabulate. We'll go from left to right. I mean, I can even touch it. Um, the one is your first choice, the two is your second favorite, and the three is third. By the way, the dots are weighted. Your one counts as three points, your two counts as two, your three counts as one. So it's very important that you use them in order, one, two, three. And everybody's gonna go up here and choose their favorite three. And um, JC, that's it. Go ahead and get some right. food. Now, uh, does anybody have any questions about that? Please go ahead and vote. And after you're done voting, have a seat. Can't believe I blew that. Yeah, you did just. <laughs> I should have suggested <laughs> that to everybody. That's, that's why I, don't I have enough dots for all of you now. I'm glad you're laughing. It's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, maybe you look back at the cut. <laughs> those are awesome shoes. I am serious. You go sharp. Are those used up, Scott? See? Right. Yeah. What? <laughs> they are. I've got a half a dozen pairs. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so go ahead and pick your first, second, and third. 
Take your time. <clears throat> My best friend growing up, um, frat, U Dub, all the way, um, architectural, engineering, really successful guy, still best friend. Humbling. Yeah. But I love the guy. What's that? Just don't like your toe wedge. <laughs> oh, I use my foot wedge all the time. It's a wonderful tool. It's probably the best. It's probably my most accurate club. I've never hit ball with that. You're going to have to <laughs> Oh, what a ride. Like we were talking about the first time when you said it was 100. Yeah, well, it, it's not. Um, Oh, that, yeah, that, that, that's the old joke. Hey, yeah, man, I shot a, I shot a 65. Oh, you're amazing. It's on the front nine. 130 isn't going to cut it. I can get, in, I can get below 100 on the municipal course. I'll get between 85 and 99, depending on the course. Thank you, JC. Awesome. Yeah, my hand is happening my driver. That's funny. Okay, the dominant winner by not uh, by, by a lot. I mean, there's like no, um, it's not even close. Um, so at 14 votes, and the next highest one was nine, and then you get into seven, etc. But this is it. So we're going to go ahead. I'm going to leave this up here so you can see all the other writing, all of your other work. Because when we start to wordsmith, I want you to be able to, you know, you can pick and choose from other deals. <clears throat> Do you see this over here, Tracy? No, but I'm, I can listen to you. I'm, not, I'm, I'm in love with that concept and what you have to do there. Cool. I'll, I'll just touch it. Touch. Yeah, and this is where you can say, get rid of South. This is where you get to have some. <laughs> No, I'm serious. Okay, so that is just merely what's guiding us. We can add, subtract, but the key thing here, that, you know, um, it's we're, we're defining a geographic area, which you can change, right, Tracy? I mean, you could say Western Washington if you want. I mean, that's a bee have. It doesn't matter. Whatever is good for you is going to be it. Uh, vibrant, uh, marine, uh, Jeez, marine. Okay. And playground. No, I think it's marine. No, it's marine. marine. Oh, it's marine. Okay. It's marine. Thank you. <coughs> so the things that we don't want, I mean, we're talking about marine. You know, we're talking about our water. So it can be up to 15 words and um, you're articulating um, what it is you aspire to achieve uh, inside of 20 years. You know, what amazing accomplishment are, are you gonna achieve? So um, same rules apply. We're gonna do a draft and work from there.
Tracy's already writing. That's cool. No, that's a good thing. So who wants to take uh, our first stab? You already had some ideas and opinions about this. Share them. I know that I'm like dominant the airspace. <laughs> Actually, you haven't. Just yet. No. Okay. You have not dominated. All right. So, so if we're going to have a location to put, to put ourselves inside of, I, it would, uh, my vision would be bigger that people get up on Saturday morning from all over the county, not just South King County, to okay. come to Des Moines. So, I appreciated Matt's um, offering earlier, like not even putting South King County on there, that you, so um, that it's just a vibrant marine, and a uh, yeah, vibrant marine playground, but I love the word destination, so if, if Great, you let's get it up the there. destination there. So. Uh, would you uh, speak it up for me? A vibrant So let me tell you what's right about this. So, so first, it's, it's, it's kind of cool. Um, you know, it'd be better if it was the best or something, but um, you are articulating it as it's already happened. Do you remember about an hour ago, I said your, missions, your vision statement can be an aspiration like mine to be the leader. Mm -hmm. But a lot of folks actually, you know, we, you know, uh, we are the leader. You know, you've, you've actually attained that and you're saying, We've already attained it. So great start, thank you very much. I'd like to engage some other folks here. What do you think? I think I'm gonna throw up uh, the other examples. <laughs> I realized I took a pause. <laughs> That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I, I just, um, so you can see some examples. You know, just for wording, to be the leader in marketing, innovation, and resources for small businesses. I'm not gonna get into why that's relevant because, I mean, it's, it's, every word is very strategically chosen. To be the world's most desired and successful premium car brand. That's one of the best vision statements I've ever seen, just because it's so audacious. Mm -hmm. I mean, what Harry said is exactly what everybody, that's why I don't show you who it is. Uh, to create a city that is the crown jewel of the Pacific Northwest for everybody in the world except for Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Matt. I only tease the people I care about. So I just wanted uh, to stimulate some thoughts there. I mean, this is awesome. And if you go, hey, we're done, then you're right, because this is your vision statement. I would just like to entertain some other thoughts. Well, if you're going for a galaxy, you should probably go A vibrant and you say B vibrant. There we go. But I do T H E E. <laughs> no, I'm serious. I mean, that's, that's a real word. And it really emphasizes it, don't you think? Like be one and only. Exactly. So let's put the way you want it. So, so it's the vibrant. The, yeah. Do you see how that's more vision esque? A little bit more punch. I, I think you could add the. Uh, Pacific Northwest onto the end of that. Northwest destination. The Pacific Northwest. Mm -hmm. See, we're getting more audacious every minute. And I love it. Could you imagine if somebody just came across this? Uh, the vibrant marine playground destination in the Pacific Northwest. I'm reading that, and um, you know I'm in Monroe. I'm like, hey, I'm going to take a day trip. That's bold. Right. Yeah.
Yes, sir. I'm trying to think of this as a little narrow. I think that Let's hear it. it's not just the Marine playground, it's the Marine community, it's the Marine <laughs> transportation, it's the Marine playground. It's a lot, a lot more than just that. Okay, very cool. Um, so in other words, the Viva Marine Community Destination in the Pacific Northwest, that is bigger. And once you land on it, we can rearrange words and all of that. But it just every time somebody opens their mouth, it gets better and better. How about to be the most? Charming, vibrant waterfront destination in the PNW. In the what? Any other ideas? <coughs> so um, I want to share that we've got two different ideas here. One of them is focused on marine, you know, very specific to, and it's also <coughs> articulated by Tracy as the waterfront. So marine, waterfront. And the other one is about the Salish Sea, which is way bigger than our waterfront. So I'd like to take this just one bite at a time. You know, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So I'd like to do uh, a show of hands. Um, how many prefer using the word marine or waterfront? We'll put that into one category. And we'll ch if that's the choice, then we'll choose within that. Or the other one would be Salish Sea. So two options for bifurcating this. It's marine slash waterfront. You wouldn't use both. You choose. And the other one is Salish Sea. Show of hands, how many prefer using marine or waterfront? One, two, three, four. Okay, well that's, that's a majority. Um, so, but that doesn't mean that we have to get rid of uh, the gateway or the premier gateway now we have another bifurcation, and that is marine or waterfront. We're going to use marine or waterfront. You wouldn't use both, right? Or would you? Can I ask a question? When you say marine playground, do you mean in terms of boating, fishing, diving? Or what? Or is it bigger than that? Is there like Pacific Northwest a location? Mm -hmm. yeah. that, that's a region. I'm, I'm closer to say it's see visitors and even some of the residents don't understand it either. It's, it's a shame. It's a shame they don't, but right. No, that's a good point. That's a good point. Well, that's why you voted for marine or waterfront. But to get back to your point, because I'm asking, are we using marine or waterfront? Or do we use both? Well, I think Chief 
green is bigger. You said diving or parasailing or whatever. No. You don't want to go there. <laughs> so does that mean we're going to stay with marine? Show of hands, again, you have to vote on marine or waterfront. How many vote for marine? Okay, we got a majority. So let's stick with marine. Um, now... I'm just going to keep doing this bifurcation so we can narrow it down to the key elements. And that way, we are editing one statement and not many. Um, so we have a couple different things. Um, we've got vibrant by itself. We have charming and vibrant. Um, that's the second choice. And the third choice is premier gateway. So what I'd like, I'm going to do, pardon me? I'm going to do, I'm hearing things. I'm going to do a, a tabulation. Um, we're going to do all three. Um, who wants to vote for just vibrant? Versus vibrant, charming? Yeah, and, but the, the third one is Premier Gateway. Oh, okay. So we've actually got three. Okay. So I got one vote for vibrant only. How many of you prefer? Can you redo that? Because we didn't understand what you were asking. Yeah. Okay, sure. So we have three options. We have this, we have this, and we have this. And uh, the key distinction is vibrant, charming vibrant, or premier gateway. One, two, three. So I'm going to ask each of you to vote once. How many of you are just saying vibrant and not say charming vibrant? One, two. Okay. How many of you prefer? Now it's about how many of you prefer charming, um, vibrant, understanding that there is the premier gateway. You only get to vote once. One. Okay. And I'm assuming the rest of you, the other four of you, are choosing premier gateway? No. I want charming. <laughs> well, you already voted. I did not. We did not. But you want charming. Okay. So yeah, that's two. I don't and then I've got four. I got you up there. I'm glad you said something. You know, if you don't raise your hand, I can't well, count you. I don't know what vibrant means. I know what charming means. Okay. Would somebody like to share? Whoever came up with vibrant, share with JC what vibrant means. Uh, active. Right. Bustling. Yeah. Means full of life. Yeah. Full of life, growing. Bustling. Do you, do you want to keep your vote on vibrant? I did get four for Premier Gateway. So, um, it, are we good with Pacific Northwest? Because I've heard more about that than I got that. I got those three Pacific Northwest. Well, okay. The, the objection to Thaler's Creek was was familiarity. Yeah, people don't understand it. Okay. If they don't understand it, they're not going to buy it. You know, if you're okay, 100 percent. I mean, absolutely not. There is not one 20 year old that's going to care 40 years, 20 years from now that of what the sailors. So I took all of your information. We we need to roll here. I see that. I took all of your information, and this is what I wrote. I'm not saying it's the final, but it'll give you something to work from, and it's very vision esque. The premier gateway to the best marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. Premier, say that. 
closed. The premier gateway to, to the best yeah. marine, marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. That is about as vision-esque as you can get. So I'd like to hear what you guys are thinking. So, so you read that uh, just, 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 just the right way like you would. No, you got it. The premier gateway to the best marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. That doesn't make sense as a sentence. Does anybody else have the same feeling? I think you do. I agree. Okay, then give me, um, let's go with you, JC. You brought it up. Give me a sentence structure that you think is better. I would just say that you can't be a gateway to the best marina destination. I mean, it just it sounds like an Got it. So give us an alternative. Okay, did you I'm have just saying the best marina destination? It's marine, it's marine, that might help. It's marine destination, not marine. marine. Uh, that does that help? Hold. I'm just saying that you're you right. You have an idea. Your, your okay. Right? Let's hear it. about the gateway thing. So our working vision is the premier marine destination, would it be in the? Mm -hmm. Yep, okay. I just dropped the in. In the Pacific Northwest. Thoughts. I'll go with it, but it does lack charm. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sorry, you got voted out. I mean, that's why we use the nominal group technique. If we didn't, we'd really never get anything done. So our working vision statement is the premier marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. It meets all the criteria for a good vision. Does it meet your criteria? Because that's more important. What element did you think we lost? You're going out to the broader destination, the Pacific Northwest. Well, you don't think all those there. people are going to spend their money in the sales tax? I'm in another not city. complaining <laughs> about that. We do <laughs> have the Pacific <laughs> Northwest. It's a distinction we may not have thought of. So, so you're right. It, the Salish Sea isn't there because it got voted down two to one. But the Pacific no, Northwest is. Yeah. What you had said, we lost uh, the Salish Sea and Pacific Northwest. Out of. Got it. Well, we replaced it with great. Do you have an idea of uh, how no, you would edit it? I necessarily want to change that. Okay. Because it's uh, just an observation. We want people to come here. Right. I think it's important to, if I see it that way, others will too. And do you think that, that would keep people? Exactly what we want. Do you think that would keep people from coming? No. Oh, okay. Other thoughts? You know, I'm looking around, it doesn't seem like you guys are this ex that excited about this. 
No, it is the vision statement if you choose to go with it. The vision statement is a very short, concise statement that articulates what is amazing about you. Uh, 20 years from now. Well, actually, you're identifying this as it's already happened. I shared at the beginning of the exercise, you could articulate it as an aspiration for your future or that you've already arrived. Yeah, that you've already arrived. Huh? It's, it's I don't think you made that decision. Yeah. I, I really don't think you made that decision. Oh, okay. Well, good point. I was I going from every one of the things I that you wrote. Yeah. I don't think that was a Do, conscious decision. Okay, I, well, let's check this out. How many of you would prefer it written as an aspiration? You just simply would say, to become the premier marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. You like that one better? Okay. I, I like that better. So the aspiration, uh, I'm glad you brought that up. Um, so let's just do another a bifurcated vote. Um, the first vote is that you've already arrived there. And the second option is that it's an aspiration. The second version is to become. Kind of like, I, you know, to be. You, could, you don't have to say become, you could say to be. Until you change it. What's that? Or until you change it. Yeah, yeah but what I'm saying is it's a, it's a for real vision statement. You amass the entirety of your resources to accomplish it, that goal over time. And if we were Leavenworth, I'd be on board because they made that. They, they did that. Mm -hmm. Okay? That was their vision. Yes. To be the Bavarian destination. Yeah. in the Pacific Northwest. And so I'm just saying, is that what the city of Des Moines aspires to yeah. do? Yeah, ask your colleagues. Mm -hmm. I, just, I don't get a I'm vote. Just, I'm, just, I'm just like, you know, I've had a hell of a time voting here for 25 years, but I never thought of this as a single purpose um, kind of a thing. 90% of our residents never touch the water, and they have a No, everything we've gone through, JC, has been uh, the ex a visioning exercise. Okay, well, I, I don't, it sounds like this is the direction the majority wishes to go down. I'm just saying that. Well, maybe or maybe not. I mean, we're kind of opening the conversation. I mean, this is your content, nobody else's. So let me ask you, I mean, the, the, the process uh, whittles down to something that's most important to you. So let me ask you this. If you actually were recognized, if the city of Des Moines was recognized as the premier um, marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. Could you see that as an economic tool that would, you know, lift, you know, the rising tide lifts all ships? I mean, is that is that a negative thing or a bad thing? And maybe it is. I don't know. I Right, no, I think, we're, we're yeah, and Harry suggested that. I think so. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put two B in there because I think yeah. that everybody two likes creates. it. Two creates. Oh. Okay. Two creates. Okay. To create is active. That's what our, the vision is for the council is to do work. Right. right. So what, what we're reading now is to create the premier marine destination in the Pacific Northwest which is going to boost retail, it's going to 
you know, ultimately the potential of more real estate. I mean, more people moving here. I, I mean, I can see this as an economic engine. So I appreciate what you're saying there. And I think part of this exercise is that we need to recognize, well, what we're at here. And I think economically, we what you do is you, you say, where are your revenue streams going to come from? Because you have to survive. Right. If you want to survive this business. What's your, what's your greatest opportunity to create sustainable revenue and pick your greatest asset in order to create that revenue stream? And so we we are unique among cities in the Puget Sound. There are very few that are just dry on waterfront. We almost have a responsibility to the region to be active with that for, for the sake of the entire region. Just like the state of Washington has a responsibility to the United States to do something economically, right? right. The city of Des Moines has get it. a responsibility to King County to be active that way on their waterfront. And um, is that so in your supporting this? That as part the of new vision. one? Yes. So okay. I'm kind of building that opinion is that picking our waterfront as a focus for our revenue, and then how do we do that? We create a vision that revolves around the waterfront, even though maybe a bunch of people in the city might not might not use it. But it for our vision statement. So what we've got on working uh, vision statement right now is to create the premier marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. I think we should slow down the room and get a handle on the vision we should create as a marine. I think we're all pretty much okay with the rest of it. Okay, um, that sounds like a really good point, Matt. Does everybody agree with that? Yeah. I've got minor head nodding. Hey, um, you, I don't want you to feel like this is being forced down your throat. This is your vision. I mean, you developed the ideas, you voted on it, and every time you redo it, you've improved it. Um, so Matt just made um, a, a really good proposal, and that is he thinks that the rest of it is okay and that we need to determine whether we're going to say to create or to be. Did I articulate that well? You did. Uh, is everybody, does that make sense to everybody? Okay, well, I'm getting affirmation all the way around. Um, let's start with a show of hands that prefer to be. One, two, three, four. Well, okay, five. Um, okay. And to um, CJ's point, and I really love the fact that he's thinking about this as, you know, kind of a, a lens to make priority decisions because that's the right way to go. That doesn't mean that all of your resources go into this. It just means that it's a priority and that there are things that you may want to do in terms of beautification, functionality, other things for your waterfront to really realize this vision. And it is a be have. You know, the idea is don't worry about how you're going to get there. Just have a big aspiration. City's not going to fold if you don't get there in 20 years. But uh, with this as kind of a focal point, you're going to end up in a much better place then than you would now. So right now, I'll read it one more time and see if you're good with this. To be the premier marine destination in the Pacific Northwest. Show of hands that they're good with that. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's a super majority. All righty. Nice work, everybody. I'm really glad you brought up what you did, Harry, because we ended up with something better and, and more realistic. Just because I'm confused doesn't mean I'm right. <laughs> okay, nice work. So we have one exercise left and about an hour to get there. So I'm going to unpack this exercise. This is a core values exercise. Some of you in your businesses may have done this. It's a very 
uh, common part of a strategic plan. And this really, you know, the code of conduct, what it, it, there's a bigger C word. It's about culture. And um, I don't know if anybody uh, was, what the heck was his name? Um, Drummond? No, I forget. Peter Drucker. Peter Drucker. He said that culture eats strategy for breakfast. Ergo, culture is way more important. There's another thing, and this is actually one of my quotes, and, and that is, a great team can survive a flawed strategy. A poor team will never survive a great strategy. It's about people and it's about culture. Okay, let's jump in. Here's our exercise, three-step process. You get in the idea that I do everything in threes? There's a reason for that. Brainstorm about, no. No, we're going to record that. Sorry, I went backwards to show you. Yes, we are moving to core values. Okay, so let's break it down. Developing a set of core values, qualities of well-crafted value statement. <clears throat> Time orientation is perpetual. I mean, if you come up with a solid set of core values, I mean, that, that should live. Does that mean you can't change it? Of course not. You can change it whenever you want. But when you're talking about mission, vision, values, these are supposed to be shelf stable. It's not something you change like a, a goal or a strategy with frequency. It's, they are short, single line bullets anchored by adjectives and attributes. And I'm gonna give you an example. Uh, define the city's character and code of conduct. So let's look at some examples. Well, one example, Maple Valley. I use this because this is brand new. We just did this. We will focus on diversity, equity, and inclusion. And they purposely, uh, you know, you do this based on anchor words. They purposely italicized their anchor words. Anchor words will make more sense when we start the exercise. Next, we will provide program services and resources for a healthy community. We will be good stewards of the resources entrusted to us. And the last one is we will be authentic in our intentions decisions and actions. Let me make sure that was the last one, it was. The point is that they came up with, and this is our exercise. Some of you have read the deck, I can tell. I think Matt or Harry has, so they already know what's coming. But those are the anchor words. So now I'll enliven anchor words for you. Three-step process. Brainstorm qualities and characteristics. These will be single word Qualities, characteristics, adjectives, attributes, you know, they're active. Like, for instance, uh, influence, integrity, uh, stewardship. These are all active attributes. Develop a list of 20 to 25 single word adjectives. We can do one sheet and I'll do two columns. Transparent. Transparent is brilliant. That's a very powerful one, especially for uh, a city. It's a big one. Yeah, well, it's the first one I'm going to write down. Okay. We're going to take 10 minutes, again, very fast paced, no judgment discussions. We're not wordsmithing or discussing, oh, I don't like that, I like it. You're going to vote again. You, you will surface what's important. The second step is we're going to consolidate the list. Same thing with the vision statement. Group and delete duplicates, kind of go through that. There, um, there'll be words that mean the same thing. Vote to surface. The top four to six words. Um, vision statements usually have four to six bullets. Uh, they chose four. Five is kind of the mean. It's, it's whatever you decide will be right. And then um, once you've done that, uh, we're going to write core value statements and create short bullets based on each anchor word. Because these are all single words. You'll be voting on the anchor word. And when we vote, you're just going to use one strip. You're going to have a one, two, and a three not the full sheet that I mistakenly given you. Lastly, um, they should be consistent in style and arrangement. You know, like the example I gave, you're not gonna have one that's five words and another one that's 25 words. I mean, that just creates cognitive dissonance. So, we're gonna start off, and I'm gonna start off with Harry's transparent. Awesome. 
the single word adjectives that you want to be known for as your core values and that we will adhere to in our code of conduct and our daily activity. Safety. Safety. Thank you, sir. Pardon me? Trustworthy. Stability. Oh, excuse me. Let me get this out in the middle. I'm um, favoring this side, and I've only got one person over here. I'm not dissing you, Tracy. I got it. I got okay. You. Trustworthy was the last one I heard. Inclusive. Inclusive. Wow. You guys. Stability. Stability. Well, I tell you what, if I put a uh, hyphen in it, there's one word. There you go. I mean, <laughs> ask Marion Webster. There you go. Yeah. Who my boss? I'm going to work now. Engagement. Could we say engaging to make it a. Uh, I'll, I'll use your. Well, I'm going to use your word. Would be Yeah. No rings involved. <laughs> no what involved? No ring. No ring. <laughs> yeah, I, I get it. That's pretty funny though. What else? We're not doing headlines, Jeremy. <laughs> I know, Single right? Single word oh. attribute. Livability. It's, it's kind of like stability, but sustainability. I think that stands on its own. Prosperity. Prosperity. Awesome. Healthy. Slowing down. Open. You get a. Pardon me? Open. Open. I love it.
know, I'm starting to, I am, I'm writing better. I'm even writing bigger. What the heck has gotten into me? Any others before we jump into our voting? Well, we need to be able to pick three. You're going to pick three, but everybody else is going to pick three. Everybody complains about not having enough dots. And that's normal. But when you have seven of you each picking your top three, you're going to end up with a lot more than three there. So uh, what it does, uh, the most important thing you do in anything, in business or as a council, is you have to make trade-offs because we can't do everything that we want to do. So we do the most important things. And now you have a guidance system, mission, vision, and about to have values that will help you make informed decisions. All the time you're putting in here um, is not just to put this stuff you know, in a folder that gets filed. Uh, this stuff's going to be in the lobby. It's going to be on the website. You're going to use it when you're grappling with making a strategic decision. It's going to be very, uh, it's a great utility. Um, any others before uh, we vote? Once we vote, we can't add. What's the last word on the first point? Last word, first point, prosperity. prosperity. Yeah. yeah. It'll be easier to read once you're up there. So yeah, I mean, Prospensky. Yeah. Prospensky. Salty. Yeah. Oh, this here? Salty. Yeah. No, this yeah. <laughs> yeah, is there supposed to be an E between the T and the E? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought so. All right. Yeah, you can all that. Don't forget about the letterbox. Oh, it's gone. Sorry. <laughs> Anything else? Okay. Well, you let me say one. I was hoping to get one. I'm so sorry. I know no, don't be worried. sorry. No, no, no. I feel like integrity is what they're hurting now a lot. I thought for that. There's a reason you're here. Well, I mean, not I here to tonight. I mean, there's a reason <laughs> that you are here as city manager. Well, I just wrote integrity. Fabulous. Actually, before we vote, we have to consolidate. I almost skipped one of my deals. And as we consolidate, you can continue to add. You just can't add after you vote. Okay, transparent, safety, trustworthy. Um, the already trustworthy, honest, there's some the synonyms there. That's very normal. Inclusive, stability, stewardship, community, responsibility, evidence-based, engagement, livability, diversity, um, sustainability, um, Prosperity, and some of these can go together, just like the other one had, you know, diversity, um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. We put all those three together. Healthy, family centered, respectful, innovative, open, honest, integrity. Where are the synonyms? Yes, Harry. Open, honest, integrity, and trustworthy. Honest, integrity, open, and trustworthy. And trustworthy. Okay. And transparency? Mm -hmm. I don't know. What do you all think? It seems to me it's more of a communication of value than a technical or a digital way of showing it. Okay. So we've got trustworthy, open, honest, and integrity. Um, I'd like to know which is the more powerful anchor to establish a core value statement. Integrity, 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 okay. <coughs> Shame on you for being so good. Integrity is a great um, word that means so many positive things. Okay, well done, family. Yeah, we're going to group until Maybe you're done you grouping. Okay. Yeah, Is, we're going to do the same process as with uh, the vision headlines. What else up there is? Um, community and engagement, I think, go together. Unless the community, whoever offered community, if that had to do with like um, no, events and gatherings. No, I think it was engagement. 
We value our community. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Hey, good, good discussion. Yeah. Are there any other diversity and inclusion? Mm -hmm. um, they're they're yeah. very similar. It's not identical, but well, and whichever anchor you end with, you can throw them together. But we do need to choose one for the purposes of voting. I prefer inclusion. It's, it's bigger, isn't it? Is everybody okay with that? Inclusive. Okay, nice work. Responsibility and sustainability. Are those your stewardship? Your stewardship? I, yeah, I thought responsibility and stewardship were together. Stewardship and what else? Sustainability and responsibility. Sustainability. I know it's right in front of me. Second from the bottom on the first one. Thank you. See, you know how to work with dyslexic. I am um, dyslexic. Huh. Are you? Yes. Cool. Well, not cool. I mean, I've got a brother yeah. in the room. Um, I don't know about you, but what was a uh, curse when I was in school uh, has turned out to be a blessing. Okay, I've got stewardship and sustainability. I thought I heard a and, third. And responsibility. And responsibility. Right here. Yeah. Thank you. So those three, which one of those words, I kind of have an idea where you're going to go. I'm not going to say. Um, which one of those three, stewardship, responsibility, or sustainability, is the, the, the better anchor for a sustainability? 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 Yeah. You guys all there? Sustainability? Okay. <coughs> Good work. I'd like to add one. Okay, go for it. I think we're missing service. Where is the Yeah, I don't see that as inclusive enough for me. Do you? What about leadership? Oh. going to give you a little bit of a disclaimer um, and I'll take responsibility. We're running about 20 minutes behind. Uh, any other? I think you can pause. You can probably combine sure. uh, stability and sustainability. Stability and sustainability. Uh, are you all, does that make sense? Or do we keep them both? So what does stability mean to you? I get it though, I, I see it, I see what you're talking about. So if they are stability and sustainability. Um, sustainability is easy. Right? Yeah, so like this is the bigger word. Do you all agree with that? I do. We keep the stability, we keep sustainability. Okay. That makes makes good sense. Okay. Good work. I'm not seeing anything else up there. Are you? Okay. If you're good with that, then we're going to go ahead and do the vote. The same uh, process. We're going to vote directly underneath the one you're picking, and we're going to go from left to right. Your one is your first choice, two is second, three is third, and they're weighted, right? So I'm gonna ask you to vote. Um, just get up here and do it. Um, and then we'll move on to uh, the next step. We only get the three dollars. 
That's correct. sister used to be a law professor in Baghdad, but she was just absolutely brilliant in the first year. She had her uh, master's of science, mm -hmm. bachelor's and master's, and worked for a GED, and um, just, oh, I forgot how tough that was. I was there when I was in third grade. I already gave you the story about mm -hmm. the really retarded thing. But I mean, I couldn't read, spell, or do math to be close. <laughs> <laughs> when I went to college, we only had typewriters. Yeah. Oh my God. I used more whiteout than you would believe. All of my seven electeds voted. This one on the side, is that for safety or for transparency? Safety. Okay, that's why I say do it underneath because I can't tell. Thank you. Integrity made the cut. Just, just sharing that fact. Catherine, I'm sorry. Oh, what'd you say? I said integrity made the cut. Mm -hmm. Don't remind her that I called her. <laughs> <laughs> that's the, that's the part. That. That's part of dyslexia. Okay, here's your votes. I just did the top five. You have, uh, because after that, it's a bunch of food and drink. So first choice at 14 votes, safety, number one. Second choice at eight votes is sustainability. Tied for third is transparent and uh, innovative. No, and integrity. And in fifth place is innovative. So if you are known for being, being focused on safety, um, that uh, your focus was sustainability, you're about uh, being transparent, you're about integrity, and you're innovative, 
if you were known for that as a city, would that be such a bad thing? That's, that's just real good stuff. <coughs> Are we good to go to start writing our statements? Oh, by the way, there is another um, way of doing it. I mean, a lot of them do the full sentence like that. Um, I did a thing with uh, a chamber that did um, had an opening sentence, you know, uh, you know, we and, and every uh, relationship um, and activity, we will, and then it was a, a colon, and then it just listed the end of the word. I mean, that's one way. I'm not preaching, I'm not trying to sell you on it, I just want you to know what your options are. Okay, we're going to do them in order. You know, you can rearrange the order later if you want. <coughs> okay, first is uh, safety. So you might remember that I said these want to be, you know, kind of a same genre, you know, <coughs> the same arrangement, you know, basically you know, similar number of words, you know, I usually recommend between six and 10. Um, not limited to that, but we want them to have the same cadence, you know. It could be as simple as we will, and then, you know, it could be something that we will prioritize safety above all else, or then, you know what I mean? So, uh, in terms of safety, what is it? What's the short little sentence that we want to do with that? Or do you prefer having an opening statement and just having uh, those words listed? What what makes the most sense to you? I kind of think an opening statement needs to be the end of the sentence rather than the whole word. I think that's clearer. It, it, it's and really clear. And sniffing. yeah. Well, it also means that we're going to get out of here early. <laughs> that, now, um, that was not bonus point. Bonus point. Um, well, we can certainly do that. So what we need to do is come up with an opening statement. Does it have to say Des Moines or can it say we will? Oh, we will. Um, the only thing that has to have the brand is the mission statement. The order is mission, vision, value. So no, you do not, yeah, you could say we will, we prioritize, um, uh, we will conduct our um, activities and operations based on the following values. I mean, you can say anything. Is it the city of Des Moines that will conduct or the council that will conduct themselves? It's the entire, it's, it's, it's the entire city. yeah, it's, it's enterprise wide. It's everybody it's in this room. Yeah, everybody that is either employed with the city or elected to the city. <coughs> yeah, it's not just, um, I mean, this is, uh, Catherine will be using this. And, you know, I can see where you put all three of these together in a nice framed thing. And I actually worked with an electrical contractor. It, it was a large company. They had, uh, oh, it doesn't matter. But um, the CEO, after we did this, actually uh, put together a really nice, except he did it in a smaller frame for guests and for the holidays, he gave every single, and they had you know, hundreds of employees, he did one for every employee, regardless of their condition. And had a little stand so it could be, you know, the little easel. And he had everybody put it on their desk. Well, the city of Des Moines will conduct ourselves with the following values. Bum, bum, bum. kind of ironic. Um, the example I used is that chamber with the one word and just the, the words. 
I pulled it out because with the cities, I usually show a city example. But when I'm doing corporate, I'm doing exactly what we're doing now. Okay, so we have a great contribution. Um, I'd like to hear from other folks. Let's hear from Harry's colleagues. How about we will measure our conduct and leadership according to the pattern of our leaders? Say that again. It's, it's almost the same. It's just that we will measure our conduct and leadership according to Sticky dust. What do you think about that, Yeshiva? Would that be cool? Um, you're, you're dying to bring in some more bullets more, or more dots, right? More dots. Um, Both of these are killer, but I want to, you know, we're doing so well on time. Let's, we can still get out of here 15 minutes early and add a few more. just want a clarification um, when you said we will could that be replaced with the city of Des Moines or we as council or we as well don't do we as council because it's bigger than right I, that's that's my question is is this could that be because we as I mean very it's the entire uh, city all staff um, you know it's the police department it's all of our enough, I don't think in my mind but Okay. Yeah, so go with it then. You know, the city of Des Moines will measure our... It's just a question. I'm just yeah. throwing it out there to my colleagues. Sure. I mean, uh, to me it just seems very ambiguous. Yeah, so we've got two different versions of that one. Through my tenure on council, I think it, it I think it encompasses everything, right. including council members and staff members, and largely our community. But there have been some instances that it 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 includes staff members and council members, and and um, so I, I think I'm bringing it forward as a whole. Um, but um, as clarification, if we need to dive deeper into that, I'm okay with that. Yeah, let's do, Business let's safety. do, okay. yeah, so if you're going to do that, the answer is yes, but remember, they need to be in the same genre, then you would need to have modifiers for the others. No, what, just be bulleted, personal and public safety, innovation. Right, what I'm saying is that if you've got one that's multiple words, under the, the rule of having the same arrangement, oh. you would have modifiers for the others too, which is fine, absolutely. Um, yeah, D does, doesn't public safety cover personal safety? Aren't yes. people part of the public? I would have to agree. So public safety, then you could add one um, clarifier in front of the others and you would have the same cadence. That's true. I, yeah, that's true. Yeah. Good point, Harry. But let's finish it the way One that. Word. Yeah. Let's finish it the way that we wanted to. But let's get that sentence. So I've got a couple things. The city of Des Moines will conduct itself. Is that right, Gene? Itself. <coughs> yes. Yeah, okay. Great. Itself with the following values.
discussion about we and ours. Yep. So do we want to put the city of Des Moines in that statement? Because I'm fine with that too. I, I think it should be the city of Des Moines from the start. And then, so do you put the city of Des Moines for our core values as a prosecutor? Do you put the core values of the city of Des Moines for our office? Des Moines first or after? Um, indifferent. Core values. Core values of the city of Des Moines are. The core values? No, I'm sorry. Just core. Core values. Core values of the city. Is that what I did? Right? Core values of the city of Des Moines are. And then it'd be a colon. Okay, there's a lot of great stuff up there. Um, no, we've got um, we've got safety, sustainability, integrity, uh, transparent. It should be um, transparency. And then innovation. Yeah, we'll, we'll modify all those. These were just anchors, so absolutely we will do that. So, my question to you is: Are we good with co core values? City of Des Moines are. I see just about everybody nodding their head. And I know JC absolutely loves it. I can tell by the look on his face. He's jamming. So, should we see what it looks like with the rest of those? Uh, so, it'd be um, safety. sustainability. It doesn't matter what it means to the reader, right? Beauty is an eye of the holder. Well, however they read it, it's positive. Safety, sustainability, integrity, transparency, and innovation. Drop the mic. Nice work. Holy moly. So, obviously, we're ahead of time. Uh, the facilitator never has the last word. I'm going to ask Tracy to close us out. But before that, I want to know if any of my other council members have any closing comments. This is your session. I want you to be able to share whatever you want to share. I just have a question. <coughs> is this help me out here? It is. Hearing the discussion was super helpful, but I think we're not done. Like, this is sort of the foundation. There's obviously a lot more, like, specific goals and things to go into. So this is very helpful to hear. Yeah, this is the top, this is the strata, this is the trailhead of strategic planning. We need to get kind of into the nitty gritty. And as we discuss that, we'll have our mission, vision, and values in front of us because that'll be the guidance system that will help you prioritize. You already know in your head what you want to happen. Um, these. I just want to make sure that you know, we are adopting a lot. It's of useful. Our mission, and I want to make sure that. Well, I'm glad you asked her, but rather than thinking you're dumping a lot on her, you're giving her the ability to level set and to make sure she doesn't overload her staff because she has your priorities. Is that yeah, accurate? Especially if we're facing a tough disclosure. Mm -hmm. This is helpful. Yeah, and then, but we're not done. The next step is we need to do strategic planning after that to establish uh, the goals and a lot of cities do SMART goals. They make sure that they're specific, measurable, um, assigned, realistic, and time-bound. I mean, that's where accountability comes from.
Without those, there is no accountability. Okay. I, my only comment is thank you very much for facilitating this. Oh, bless your heart. Been, been, thank you. Thank you. I mean, and I know. I'm proud to I, deal with, I, so I thank you. Uh, I made several mistakes, and people put up with me. Thank you. Oh, no. I, um, no, I'm serious. I'll make mistakes. That's what I'm saying. Just yeah. Fine. But um, we got through it. Um, it was an honor working with all of you. You are smart, caring people. You care about your community. And it just, this was such a treat. So as I, bless you all. So as I said, the uh, facilitator doesn't have the last word. Tracy, would you please close us out? Uh, sure. Uh, I first thank first. Oh, thank you. Well, my thanks to you also, Andrew. You know that I appreciate you. I think you did a, a great job working hard to pull us all in. I'm looking forward to, uh, how we bounce off of this springboard and bring more even more value to our process as a city um, so thank you i'm looking forward to future conversations i would like to hand it over to catherine for just a moment for announcement just a suit uh email was down all day or you all would have heard this already but uh we have set the date for the town hall that the council's asked for regarding the samp process it is december 3rd 6 to 7 p.m It'll be here at City Hall, but there's also an online version. It'll be recorded. We'll be putting word out tomorrow. Um, the focus of the meeting is really to equip residents to know how to make comments during this comment period that are meaningful and relevant and really to help them go through that process. So we will not be explaining the ins and outs of the SAMP necessarily. It's really geared towards the comment period. But December 3rd, 6 to 7, we'll be putting that out publicly tomorrow. Thanks. Is that, so is that a hybrid meeting or when people get online, are they just watching or is it interactive, uh, the I'm online? We are still figuring out the total format of the meeting, um, but I think we would like to have some interaction where people can ask some questions. We're still working all that out with details to come, but okay. for today, I really wanna get that date out. Okay, and will there be digital flyers that people can share on social media platforms? Oh, you know, Nicole left, but there sure will be. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, look, she's walking in. There sure will be. I'll tell Nicole. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we'll okay. do that. You didn't want to go home right now, did you? <laughs> we'll have this done in 45 minutes. Okay. So good, I'm looking forward to that. Very, I just wanna give a little backdrop. We, the, this uh, event was super important to the council. It was a 7-0 vote. And the staff, my great appreciation, I really have no idea how hard it was to pull this together in a short period of time. And I think people worked super hard to get this done, honoring the council desire. And, um, and so I'm really hoping that the community benefits from it in a way that maybe they couldn't benefit from other types of presentations. The city is very interested in doing what the citizens need um, and what they appreciate. So thank you all who worked on this. Uh, okay, the next meeting date will be November 21st, 2024. It's a city council regular business meeting. Please remember to pick up after yourself on your way out all these wrappers and everything. Look underneath your tables and chairs. And uh, Council Member Nutting, would you like to make the motion? Move to adjourn, Mayor. Second. Okay. Uh, all in favor? 7-0, we're adjourned, thank you.